Zora got a bath and she's full of sassafras today. Sassafras! Zozo, what you doing? Miss Dora. What are you doing? Miss Zora. What you doing? Hello. Are you extra puff puff today? How is your bath? Really? Is that so? Is you a good girl? Is you is you whining at brother? He's sleeping right here. That's Linker Poo's butt. What? What is it? I love you. Did you have a good nap? Was it good? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you full of sass? Sass, sass, sass. She was like making these little like wah, 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 noises the second I went live. But hello guys, hi, how is everybody doing? <laughs> hi Martin, hi Milkers. Bring the wolves! I didn't have the scare alerts on yet. I'm sorry. I hadn't I hadn't swapped them yet. Now they are. <laughs> Thirteen months during spooky month. I totally planned that. Thank you for all the fun streams of the subathon and all the cool things you do for us. Excited for oh you're Thank you guys for all your patience with me fulfilling all the subathon stuff. I'm getting there. We're getting there. We're almost done. Hopefully we'll have them all soon. And then I I, I made a schedule for one. So we have that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for 30 months. That is good timing. That is good timing. I hope you're doing well. All the wells for Rings of Wells. Thank you. Muggers, hello. Hi, everyone. Jerry. Hello, Angel. Hello. Okay. <coughs> Hello. How is everybody doing? Let me put... I have the heart monitor on. I just need to turn the app on. I'm, I'm always just right on time. Am I right, boys? I'm, I'm so on time. Always on time. Woo! Okay, cool. How is everybody doing? Thank you so much. Jerry out here buying me scary games as well. So we're going to have to play that too. We're going to be today finishing Until Dawn. Also, uh, like I said, I made a, I made a schedule. Attempted to. Uh, we'll see if we stick to it. Uh, we've got... <laughs> Oops. Camera. There we go. It's loading. It's preparing. It's going to show itself. So... <laughs> 
I, it's kind of cursed because I added that I skipped a day in here and there was like, you want to skip a day? And I was like, yeah. And that was intentional because the Monday's my day off. So it was it was on purpose. Um, so until dawn, we're going to be finishing that today. Uh, and then tomorrow we're going to be doing a uh, Fierce to Fathom marathon. On Saturday, we're going to be doing pumpkin carving virtually and playing pumpkin jack. And then... Um, on the 27th on Sunday, uh, mouth washing, and then um, after we're finished with that, we'll play Bloodstained, which is the Castlevania style game. Um, and then Tuesday, we'll be playing the Outbound Ghost. We won't finish it, um, because it's a pretty long game, but yeah. And then uh, Wednesday, we'll be starting a quiet place as well as we'll play uh, while we wait here, which is like this scary, like, you make food for people and there's like something scary going on it was only like five bucks it looked interesting and then i think we'll finish a quiet place if not it doesn't really matter we'll see if it's a good game so i'm pretty sure how it's gonna work is we're not gonna be able to talk i think our mic is gonna be listening to us and i can already tell that you guys are gonna go jump scare crazy uh, during that and I'm sure my dogs will join in on all of the bork borking to get me murdered so um I I, I have a suspicion we won't be able to complete the game because of that but we'll see <laughs> so anyway guess I love schedule I I love schedule it made me schedule I already had forgotten that I turned on scare alerts hi Thank you for the zombie girly. How are you? How are you? How are things? I love you. Oh my god, that is. Hi, Trey. Chug it, 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 choo choo. Yeah, it's the one that picks up with your mic. I forgot that someone must play that. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, Jerry. They, they're gonna, they're gonna, the, it's gonna pick up the mic. And so chat's gonna totally troll me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, thank you. Thank you, Jerry. I thought I accepted it already. Thank you. Thank you for the game. But yeah, I think it's gonna be extra spooky. So we'll we'll see. Uh but yeah, I'll have to be quiet and then you guys can I suppose troll me. So yeah. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Dream. Thank you for all the love. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for hanging out. Um, how is everybody today? Monkey, hello. Hi, hi, hi. How is everybody doing? Thank you guys for the hype train. I hope you guys are excited. So today we're gonna try and uh finish until dawn um I, I i'm sure we will it's it's not i'm not concerned about it i think it'll be great uh i need to grab myself uh, a stick of cheese to devour really quickly as well how is everybody doing today are do you guys have any fun plans for uh spooky season let me know <clears throat> my voice is totally not warmed up so i apologize in advance oh great we got the the shaders of doom the shaders of doom okay all i want to know is if nerva will be there for a quiet place uh he will he will although i i think my parents will be home for that too so <laughs> all the shenanigans hi linker boo were you napping you napping i need to get you your dinner i'll have to get nervous to go get it for him um yeah no they 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 both they all everyone will be home for for a quiet place <laughs> uh, i actually just saw a youtube video of a quiet place was it good did it look good tell me the tea okay let me let me grab a stick of cheese <laughs> I got the cheese. Oh, 
I've got the cheese. Also, uh, we remember chat and the last- Wait, did I miss it? Did I miss a jump scare? Angel, thank you for the hundred bitties. I may have walked away at the wrong time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Say about <my> hundred bitties. <laughs> I'm sorry. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> What, you eating a stick of cheese? And I underestimated the power of the cheese? Hell yeah, bro. I gotta go for that cheese. I gotta go get it. How you doing, Malik? Uh, fun fact, we don't celebrate Halloween here. It's becoming more popular, but not that much. Wait, really? It's okay, Malik. You gotta just find your rhythm with somebody. Swift, hello. Milkers, bump, 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 cosmic, hello. The cheese! I got I got Beatrice flag uh flagship and um what's great about it is um they come in cheese sticks now five hours until dawn chat oh yeah I forgot we're gonna get ambushed off a cliff by El what are you gonna do, what are you gonna do? <laughs> um chat do we rebuke get a hold of yourself or stay calm Emily Chat, do we tell Emily to stay calm or do we let her get mur- I- I mean, I don't think they're gonna stampede. I'm really not too concerned about this, but, you know, this is where we left off. Last year, not many kids showed up for candy. Oh, that's so sad. I've never lived anywhere where people trick-or-treat. By the way, thank you guys for the hype train. Nose booby boop 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 boop. What do we- what do we choose? Rebuke? Get a hold of yourself? Or- Stay calm. Let's pan. <laughs> get a hold of yourself. Yeah, will you please just get a hold of yourself? <gasps> just let me think. Okay. Okay. I'm shutting up. <laughs> Am I supposed to do something? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm supposed to be walking. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. No, this is the weirdest thing ever. I don't think elk usually do this, but you know, it's cool. Kill it, bro. Why? Why would I do that? Just walk slow. It's okay. Come on. They're just it's chilling. Okay. I don't know why they're chilling, but yeah. No, oh, they're friendly. They're domesticated. They're looking for some grain. You give them a little head scratchies. Oh man, we progressed. We didn't get to go in that like shed. Dang it! I thought the shed was gonna be progression, not going to the edge of a cliff that goes nowhere. Jeez! Chat, how do I always do this? Elk stew. Mmm. Tasty! I always progress by accident. Son of a biscuit. If we do manage to get someone on the radio, we will. then we tell them we need help. I guess we we what missed we clues already. We My OCD. Oh god, not the lodge. We should stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Let's get that radio working first. I would just keep trying to go down the mountain, I'm gonna be honest. That sounded like a man howling. Okay, cool. You know, it wasn't that far up the mountain, honestly. Whoa! <laughs> No it's kidding. probably motion activated, bro. I can't see. What is that? It's just a security light. Motion sensor, probably. <laughs> Unsafe. Keep out. Right up my alley. Off-roading up the hill. It is unsafe. I almost got stuck. 
Wait, is he following me? Am I progressing by accident? I better not be. I was exploring. Yes. Gimme the totem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Have you played this? By the way, Jerry, you gotta play this. Okay. <laughs> Janania! Mm. I could go for a mean stew right now. There's like a bunch of beer cans. There's a flare. Can we take the flare? Or is that a flashlight? What do we got? What's that? Ooh, I don't think you should touch that. Don't boo at me. Wait. So, oh man, I'm doing it again! <laughs> I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, but I I am like 99% certain. Weird. Yeah, girl, why'd you put your mouth on that? Dude, that, her face when she does it though. <laughs> Summoning all the elks. Yup, yup. Definitely not summoning any uh, other creatures from the night. See, it is a motion activated light. Emily. God, I hate her. Queen of the elks. You know, that she, they're her people. The sound is funny. That is a good sound. It sounds like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you inferring something of Emily? <laughs> I'm sorry, she's awful. I I shouldn't I shouldn't be so mean, but good God, do I hate her? <laughs> as do we all. As do we all. Okay. Any goodies? Dude, it, dude, this place is not up to code. This is, OSHA would have a field day with this. I'm sure I made that joke last time. Dude, I love that Matt's just down there like, yeah, I'll, I'll meet you up there. You go up on your own. I'm just gonna stay down here, staring off into the, the snowstorm. Don't worry, babe. I don't plan on... Did he leave the axe? Is that what he just did? Why? Why? But why? Why did he leave the axe? Uh, that... Why is it so windy all of a sudden? Because we're up a mountain. We're on top of a mountain going into the air. Usually these things have staircases around them. If it's a watchtower, not just ladder. Hi, Night River. Hello. That's one messed up crow. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I guess how else did he, is he gonna use, like bring the ax up? I don't know. Clench it between your cheeks, Matt. Come on. Never go on vacation on a mountain. Exactly. I live in the mountain, so. Y'all, last time I went on vacation in the mountains, I got bullied by children in a hot springs, okay? I, I don't need... Oh, chat, I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you I almost got hit by a car yesterday, and I still feel the trauma. And while I was checking out my... the can I, I was buying a case of soda, and it, and, it, and it rolled out all over onto the floor. Chat, okay, before we emerge and get jump scared, uh, I'm not a weenie. I'm not stalling. You guys have to see the most awkward situation that has ever been and ever happened. So first, Nerva and I, Nerva saw his, well, his brother and his, uh, went out with his girlfriend and they both went to like TJ Maxx Ross or something, got a bucket 
or like a basket and then filled it with stuff and then surprised each other with like what was in it so nerf was like we should do that and i said let's go to walmart because they'll actually have candy because nerf likes candy so we so we did we went to walmart uh he went in first he bought his basket and then uh i went in and i'm checking out at the checker or whatever and while i'm checking out i uh, like uh, you know, the little triangle thing that they put stuff on, like around on the bags or stuff on the top. Um, he places it there. I hadn't yet like popped the thing in like the case of soda where you put your hand yet. So I shove my hand into it, pop it and pick it up. It flies everywhere. The whole, the end of the paper comes off. The, the, the end flies open. So then I'm holding it with the weight. It rips the whole thing. Soda everywhere. Luckily, none of them exploded, but my social anxiety. <laughs> And my shame is radiating. The guy comes to help me and is like, like away from the register, picking up stuff, trying to help me as I'm like grabbing all the sodas like a little weirdo. And so I'm like, so then I, I decide to walk out. Uh, I'm, I'm walking the walk of shame from spilling all the soda in Walmart, okay? Uh, and, and they're like, do you want a new? Th I'm like, no, it's fine. I'll just take these 12 sodas, just put them in my basket. It's fine okay um <laughs> so i walk out okay so i'm like still reeling from the the awkwardness that was a lot zora that was a lot she concurs that it was awkward af she's waiting in the car so okay so i'm gonna explain the so i'm still reeling from that okay so here's the here's here's the store okay here's the store and here's the door to the store that I exit I exit out of. And then there's like a road here, right? Right? And then there's like the so here's the the handicap spots, right? The really huge ones, right? There's handicap. And then there's like here, right? There's handicap spots. And then my car is like somewhere over there, right? Right? Okay. Yeah, Flora, thank you for the raid. Hello! the 36 pack pepsi always break oh god dude i was i got nervous some dr pepper and i just like threw that shit all over the place i i the, the, uh, luckily only one was semi-destroyed okay like had a big bang flora thank you for the rain how are you doing girlfriend i love you i forgot i forgot <laughs> is the final boss she had a bath today and she's full of sassafras <laughs> sassafras <laughs> oh! Oh! yeah now you stop barking oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh! i'm sorry I, i'm a i'm a troublemaker okay anyway <laughs> she had a bath today look at oh look at her look at her fuzz butt Zora is so cute. She had a bath. She's got a mohawk now. Ooh. Okay. Anyway, um, that's Zora. She's six month old, uh, sassy husky mix. Uh, ow. Hello, Flora. How was your stream? What were you guys doing? Hello, 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 Flora. Precious. Hello, um, Dackling. Hello, 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 Neo Bro. Hello. Thank you for the sub. I don't deserve you. Thank you for all your mind. You guys go give Flora all the love. I am telling everybody about how I almost got hit by a car right after I went shopping at Walmart just and uh, like threw soda cans all over. Okay, so I just finished checking out. I'm I'm leaving. Okay, so so I have my cart right. I imagine this is me. This is me. All right, I'm reeling from the social anxiety of of my soda case coming undone when I was I was checking out and I'm wheeling my little cart to the to my car, okay? I cross the street, all right? I cross the street and we go over here, all right? So I'm I'm here, right? Going down the line. There is a pickup truck in the handicap section. I'm also near the handicap, right? There's a pickup truck. So, so 
<laughs> oh my god okay so so this pickup truck right i see it's like starts backing up it's in the parking spot it starts backing up so like my, i'm looking that direction as i'm trying to go behind him he backs up and like starts i'm here right he's like here and there's like a parking spot i'm next to here and then there's like cars right like you know and i need to go over here and so um so i'm like walking and he starts backing up and i like kind of i'm like looking like can i make it behind him but then he starts getting closer to me like backing up this direction so i instinctively like kind of like move over here he continues to back up so i go all the way over with my car to get out of his way instead of go behind him even though i was like walking first with my car i'm like over here in the empty like disability parking okay he continues to back up even more it was in this parking spot and he keeps going and i'm like where am i supposed to go there's a car here there's a car here and I, his butt of his bumper is here i'm over here in the parking spot there's a car butt here and i'm like and it's like happening in slow motion. And I'm just like, what, what, what? And so I'm like, he was in this parking spot. He was parked. Why is he backing into my parking spot that I went into to avoid him? And you know, I should have just like went boop and then it would have been fine, you know? But I, I feel bad. Like I hate having to watch for pedestrians when I'm backing out of things or whatever. And they just dart around you and don't like, I was trying to be polite, but no, bro is like, I do not want to pull into this parking spot. I'm going to go all the way over to where this lady and her cart is. And I'm going to, I, I, I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll die. So it's like inching closer. And then he starts speeding up. And I'm like, there's like half a parking spot left. There's no room for me and my car over here. There's no room for me and my car over here. There's a car like here and here. So I'm like go over here with my little car and I start trying to squeeze right here. By the time I got like here and me and my car, he's fully parked in the fucking spot. And I'm like, bro. <laughs> nervously why didn't you start screaming and smash his car with your car i don't know <laughs> like, i just was like i guess i'll die so so then there was like barely enough free room like we're talking like inches i was like slowly inching through the fronts of the cars trying to have enough room for me in my cart right and then i finally found like a cars that were like enough that i could then exit and i just looked at the bro like bro like i almost i feel like i could have died i also know somebody who got squished between two cars and like has permanent damage to their legs because they're tall and they got pinned between two tailgates and i just have like i literally was like reeling after because i felt so upset with myself like why didn't i hit why didn't i scream at him why why when he started backing up did i not just go over here i it was like literally like <laughs> this was his car this was me this was the parking spot it was like one over like or maybe like a half a space over and he starts turning here so i was like oh let me just move out of the way like he was fully parked but he's like, nah, let me back up into the space where this lady and her cart is. And everyone's like, why didn't you just like throw your cart and like run away? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, that that's how I almost died yesterday in slow motion because of my social awkwardness. I, I also was like terrified of like the con confrontation as well. But it was literally like slow motion, but like still could have died. It was like two minute long altercation. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, that's my, that's my, um, yeah, I should have sacrificed the cart, but me, I'm like, I just bought this shit. I just I bought this shit. Dude, he touched you. Lawsuit. You're right. That's what Nerva said too. He's like, you should have been like, oh God, my back. You know what pisses me off? I'm going to say this. And I, I fully understand that like a lot of people have temporary disability parking and like, they're not going to get a new car, but God damn it. I 
I'm literally physically disabled to the point where I can't walk long distances, okay? And I can't get disability. I don't qualify for disability parking. Okay? I'm not allowed to, but this man with this giant ass lifted pickup truck can come and almost squish me in the parking spot. God damn it. Anyway. <laughs> You just don't have the right doctor. Maybe that's what it is, but... So, I asked my Washington doctor, because I go to all the states. Maybe I need to ask a Montana doctor. Pretty much, like, they said, unless... At least in Washington... But I live in Montana, but I go to doctors in Washington. I asked the Washington doctor. Maybe I'll re inquire again. It's literally this, but in reverse. Let's see this. Uh. <laughs> Exactly what fucking turn. happened? I'm not even joking. Uh, Tina, why are you groaning? You're doing fine. This is so. This is exactly uh, what happened. I'm not easy, even joking. Uh, this is. So, okay. <laughs> there's only one other place in the park. Like there's all the parking spots in the world, and I'm just me in my car, and they're like, the I'm gonna be like, and I'd move, uh, and his car would like to turn, turn to towards me more. Turn this is so accurate. Other. You're just swerving back and forth. Turn one way and stick with it, Tina. <laughs> this is literally, and then I'm the car. I'm just the deer in the headlights. Like, like I see it turn this way, so I go the other way. Then he turns towards me more. Then I scooch over more, and then I find myself backed into the parking spot. The brakes, Tina, on the left. You're about to hit that car. The brakes. Why doesn't he grab the wheel? Anyway, yeah, yeah, no, that's a hundred percent not even joking it, exactly what fucking happened um Because no one believes I have my disability because it's not noticeable even I have a permanent handicap No, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm jealous. I'm jealous <laughs> no, It's okay. Uh, that's also why I didn't seek it out when I first was offered disability was because I was like What's gonna happen is I'm gonna park in that spot and then someone's gonna look at me and be like, bitch, you're not disabled and I can't deal with that altercation. But yeah, I no, I get it. I like, but I, I, God, it's like, it's always, dude, it's always, it's always the giant ass lifted, like looted out pickup truck with like this like muscled out dude bro getting in and out of it. And I'm just like, me hobbling around, like randomly having like heart moments where I have to lay in the ground in, in, in me laying on the ground like dead on the floor in the middle of Walmart because I walked too far and I maxed out my limit before I got back to my car and I'm just like, uh, like, like and people staring at me, me walking to the back of the parking lot where I left my car. <laughs> My boyfriend literally has the best time judging people who look at me. Oh my god. See, you you have the best boyfriend. That's the kind of ride or die you need. Cause like my I told I call it I so my mom, I like, you know, like I used to look fairly normal, right? My mom always let me like dye my hair or do different things or whatever. And when I got like when people would like comment, she'd get like pissed off on my behalf and be like, are you judging my parenting? Are you like, what the fuck? Like, you know? And so recently, so then at, when I became like bald and like more disabled, um, like she started like really like noticing it. Cause I would say, oh, there was like five people who stared at me in that store or whatever. Now she like seeks them out. She's like, and she's like, when I see it, sometimes you don't even see it. And I stare at them. And then I just slowly shake my head in judgment. <laughs> and I'm like, Nervo's like, Nervo always has the best comeback. So I tell him about it too. Like it never happens in front of him. And then he leaves me alone for like two seconds. I explode soda all over Walmart. And then I almost get hit by a car. And he's like, I leave you alone for a half hour. What happened? <laughs> I will say, okay, sorry, we're like on tangent central. I will say there, there is the, the I can speak like undoubtedly. This is gonna sound so spoiled. I this sounds terrible. Don't judge me, okay? There is a hundred percent a pretty bias. Like I was telling Nerva about this. So like I feel like I used to be like a semi-attractive looking person, you know, and. 
like when I would go out and I was dressed up and stuff, like people would help me. Or if I asked for help, I would get help. Or like people were nice in stores or whatever. If I go out with like no makeup on, no wig, and like my bald ass in a hoodie, people are fucking rude. Like, like, like workers won't help me even and pretend they don't hear me. Like, uh, like people expect me to move out of the way. Even if I was there first, like run into me. Like, I'm not even joking. Like I, like, like, uh, like, I, I feel like, you know, when you're in a store and you both are in the same spot, you both like, you know, kind of like awkwardly try to like move politely out of people's way, you know? as a normal person does when I go out looking like my bald ugly ass people like run into me and look at me like why didn't you move and I'm like I tried to move and you still hit me like like literally like I don't exist people run into me I'm like what the what and if I go out looking nice completely different then I go out looking ugly again. Then people are like, ugh, what is that? Get out of my way. You're walking in my airspace. I'm like, what? I, 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 it just blows my mind. Like the rudeness. Like if I go out with a wig and makeup, people are nice. If I go out with no makeup and I'm bald, people like run me out of like the aisle. I'll be sitting there like picking something out off the shelf and people like come over and like make like a like a ver like a like a verbal like noise or something that I'm in their way well I, I was there first grabbing something off the shelf like I've had people ask me to move out of the way while I'm like buying something and like I'm like I can't believe it I like I my whole life felt like I was treated like fairly normal but then like and I, w I just can't imagine ever, like, seeing someone who, like, vi like is not necessarily attractive and just, like, treating them like shit and being like, Ugh, out of my way. I'm more important than you. Like, I've never done. I always move out of people's way and, like, open doors for people and say, excuse me. And then um, I had, like, I had someone who just wouldn't stop staring at me. Um, last time Darva and I were in Hobby Lobby. And, like, I just, like, looked at her. And I, like, was, like, like, what? Like, I turned around because, like, the whole time. And she just looked at me. And she's, like, oh, like looked me up and down. And I'm, like, people like you exist. Like, you're, like, a Karen on a TV show. What the fuck? Like, I, but I will say, like I, I I sometimes I just like I sometimes I'm like do I just need to get like a sticker tattooed on my fucking forehead that's like I'm disabled leave me the fuck alone like I I don't know like people just look at me like I'm a weirdo and I'm just like I have alopecia and uh and a heart condition a bunch of other stuff go away I <laughs> I probably have Cushing disease that's why I look like this get away like I I don't know me and my retail job, <laughs> my awesome. uh, if I'm not wearing makeup and I'm just chilling barefaced, I have my hair up in a ponytail, people act like I'm not even there. I get ran into with carts, boxes. Dude, that's what I, dude, for real. Like people literally hit me with their carts. Well, I'm standing still and was there first and it was like a straight pathway. And I'm just like, I mean, you know what? I should, like, have an invisible camera sometime. I have a pretty small one. I should just go out with my fucking tiny vlog camera. And I should, like, go out with a wig looking nice. And then, like, take my makeup off. And then go in the same fucking store with different clothes on. And no wig and no makeup. And, it's, like, film the difference. Because it is fucking noticeable. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I never would have believed it unless I lived it it is like I can't believe that people are that rude to people who just visually are different looking I cannot imagine ever acting that way if anything I'd be nicer to them like so crazy <laughs> also there's an ad about to play sorry we're just gabbing but uh thank you for watching the ad in advance we won't start the game until after the ad plays but like good lord I never I'm mad. I can't believe it. Unfortunately, all Mizu says is true. My sis also has a wig, and people are damn rude. I had to intervene a few times while I'm grocery. That, dude, it's like simple things. They like look at you. I've also like when I had color colored hair and I wasn't wearing makeup. I've been like searched in stores before because they thought I was shoplifting. 
like uh, or like denied using the restroom or like changing rooms because they're like judging you have colored hair or whatever and, and and i just like i'm like what i just i've never i can't believe it and it happens not just in montana it's like washington wherever but i'd say it happens more in montana when i'm bald the issue people are usually more nice to me in washington than in montana which i just think is really interesting because like i would think like before my colored hair ass would be more controversial in Montana. But yeah, no, I it's so weird. You know, like some people obviously get it. Or if I hear like a child being like, mommy, why is that girl bald? Like, I don't feel bad at all about that as a child. Like if like children see that, like I, I heard one time this lady like, honey, like, you know, just like you and I have hair, some people don't have hair. And like, she's like, oh, that makes sense and i thought that was like the cutest like little interaction like ever like that's so wholesome i'm like good job mother that was great good on you you know <laughs> you know what i mean but like yeah i i seriously don't understand it's like it makes it really hard to like get taken seriously because i feel like even like when i go to doctors and wear makeup and i look nice then i look too normal if i don't wear makeup and i look grubby then it looks like i'm not like a reputable person like i don't take care of myself or something so it's like it's like a it's like a double-edged sword like do i it's like should i should i go around and represent as like a hobbling little gremlin <laughs> like and cry and moan should i act normal there's like no winning there's no winning so like uh I feel bad because, like, it, it really does show that, like, the pretty tax or whatever you want, like, or the pretty, like, benefits of being pretty or whatever are so fucking real. Also, when I would have makeup on, <laughs> this is going to sound so, so conceited. When I, when I, like, looked normal and I had makeup when I was younger, I got free shit all the time. <laughs> like, I don't know why. I don't know why. All the time, people are like, oh, you can just have this thing. Here, let me throw in this other thing. Like, and I'm just like, what? For free? And then I remember, like, telling someone about it. And they're like, that doesn't happen. <laughs> and Nerf was like, that doesn't happen. And then Nerf and I will be out somewhere. And they're like, oh, you can have this for free alongside it. Here you go. Here's some extra this or whatever. And he's just like, okay. Like, really? <laughs> Yeah, it, I think I think that's how it that's how I've gotten Jerry cuz before I used to like put on a beanie and like really hide like even the back side of my neck where I am shaved, you know? And like I would I would put makeup on like my lesions on my scalp because I'm like, "Oh my god, I don't want anyone to see." It. You know? And it's like like Nerva and I go out and I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry I didn't put makeup on." He's like, "Dude, I don't care." wearing makeup isn't comfortable if you just want to be a potato like that's fine you know and it's like if people are going to be rude I'm like you're just not a nice person like I shouldn't have to like put on makeup and like look a different way to like go outside and like buy fucking groceries or like get the mail I shouldn't have to like change myself and like represent as like not how I am just because like you like feel uncomfortable because like i look a certain way or i don't have hair you know it's crazy my so my heart goes out to all the people who like you get treated different like i can't imagine like i like i just am like a little chubby and like and like have no hair <laughs> you know what i mean uh like i can't imagine people who are like very visually disfigured like how they get treated my god i just can't imagine ever treating someone like that it just like if anything like and when i see myself or i see like other people i can tell they're sick it really just shows like the lack of like knowledge like you like i look like someone who was on steroids do you know what i mean like like i look like someone who was like on steroids like if you've ever seen people who get like moon face and like a camel's hump or have large bellies or just like anything like that and like look like and like my face shape and like just like how my hair is like i wouldn't look at me and be like oh like that's just someone who doesn't take care of you. like you would be like that person's sick like i see other people and i like point it out all the time i'm like that person has like something wrong with their thyroid that person definitely is on steroids like it's obvious but like other people they're like oh what's wrong with you you look odd and i'm like sorry 
Samantha, that I have an overactive adrenal gland and was on steroids for a year. Shut up. Like, you try being on steroids for a year and see what happens to your body. Like, I don't know. I think it's just like it really shows like the lack of like education of like what illness really looks like, you know. Unless you're like hacking, coughing, or have cancer, people are like, you're fine. Which is just terrible. Anyway, hi, North. Yeah, dude, we, we, went, we went on a journey because I was telling Chad about how I almost got hit by a car. <laughs> and how, like, I'm just utterly invisible when I have no hair and no makeup on. But if I, like, go out looking nice, people are nice to me. And then if I look, like, potato, like, comfy or whatever, people treat me differently. And I'm like, bruh, what? I still talk the same. I still act the same. You're just, like, biased from your video. Anyway. It's weird. It's weird. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the ad. Everyone who got the ad. Sorry, we're like gabbing it up. Um, I feel like sharing my life, my life altering event of spilling soda all over Walmart and then almost getting murdered by, in slow motion by a vehicle because, you know, that was, sad. dude, it's like one of those things where I'm like, bro, why didn't I do all these things? But also like the social awkwardness. I was like, I'll just die. I'll just get squished by the car. <laughs> like, like that's so accurate i heard i was watching call me chris the other day earlier today and she was like i'm the kind of person who like someone spills like hot soup in my lap and i say i'm sorry <laughs> i'm like oh my god that's me oh my god that's so me oh so like when i see uh so no the the moral of the story you should be nice to everyone no matter how they look and if you think someone looks ill but is like trying it you should go out of your way to be nice to that person and say a compliment because it goes a long ways like every once in a while i'm out and i'm walking around in a store and I'm like sweating because like my heart condition, I'm struggling. Like if I have to stand and pick something off a shelf or like shuffle through the shelf, I'm like sweating. I make up a sweat. It could be like 20 degrees in there. I'm sweating. It's hard for me because of my heart condition, like store shopping. I also have like um, a vestibular condition. So actually walking shelves and the bright lights and like the visual stimuli of like all the items it's like really exhausting for me so like um and i've had people like go out of their way to like try to be helpful or do like these little nice things one time i was on a flight and someone like noticed me huffing and puffing with my backpack and they're like took it out of my hands like followed me to my seat took it out of my hands loaded it into the upper and then went back to their seat like little things like that and it was like oh dear god thank you <laughs> thank you so much oh my god like and and i've been in a store and someone's been like oh i like your shoes or like say something nice or try to help me or something and while i'm like fiddling with something and like that like changed my whole fucking day so like every time i see someone who's like out there trying their best i try really hard every time i go in public to like compliment at least one person or say something nice to someone like a random stranger because i just feel like when when that randomly happens to me that like has the ability to change my whole day so like i try really hard to do that to other people it's really socially awkward and i i i really have to like get myself coaxed up to do it but i i try really hard i try really hard <laughs> north hope you're having a good day sending love but yeah we were gabbing we were gabbing talking that tea Every time I see, dude, also some of the most beautiful babes yeah. I've ever seen in my life are like these beautiful bald women. And I always compliment them. I'm like, you're rocking it, babe. Although sometimes, so I love hair. I'm like a hair stan. I used to dye my hair all the time. There's a lot of times that I compliment when I see other people's beautiful hair, I compliment it. And they, they like light up and then they go to compliment my hair. <laughs> and then they're like, and you can tell they're like trying to say something they were gonna say oh you, oh my god i love yours too like you can tell that that was like their auto response and they're like oh thank you <laughs> but i think it's cute i think it's cute it just they're just a nice person it's not on purpose <laughs> it's not it's not being catty or anything it's just oh shit have you seen this person Sorry, Hannah. i'm 
still missing too. That's really sad. What? Why is there only a missing person of like one of them? Why is it not both? Aren't both missing? Have you seen this missing person? Last seen between 1.30 and 2.30 a.m. February 2nd, 2014. She may have been in some distress. Identifying clothing. So sad. But yeah, anyway, T, T, T. I want to make a game about being in, like, an actual good game about being in a fire tower. Because I there's a lot, there's, like, quite a few of them that I can Wait, think of. No power. Off the top of my head, but, like. Maybe a switch or something around here. I feel like, like, it, like, it's. You could be really ambiguous and have such a small game environment and make it be really, uh, like, impactful. I think also, I like, so a story about, no like, cabin fever. Maybe I should do a deep dive into that. Maybe we should, maybe I should, like, story time cabin fever incidents. I think that would be really good. I've never heard anybody talk about that. Nerva, have you ever seen content creators talk about like cabin fever? It makes people go crazy, like and stuff. Like, you know, like you hear about those stories and stuff. Uh, before we click that fuse box, do chat. Do any of you guys live in places where they have fire watch towers? <laughs> See, I'm the idea kind of person. Ooh, emergency flare. That's what we need. No one's gonna see it in this storm, though. Way up here. But, yo. Dude, that's awesome. Keep or, oh. Chat, do we keep it or give it to Matt? Chat, do we keep the flare gun or give it to Matt? My dude, manatee. Hello, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Also, so I'm like an idea person, but I don't like, I always give other people like great ideas, but I never like, I should just one day, like I need to make like a little idea book of like all my like business or like video game ideas. I feel like I got good ones. I got bangers knocking around up there. I just need to be like, someone needs to hire me as an idea person. That's what I want to do. <laughs> just to be a brainstormer. Nope, you don't. So yeah, do we keep it? Or do we give it to Matt? Who do, do, we, do we give it to Matt, Jerry? Chat, what do you think? What do you think? Does does Emily deserve the flare gun? Let me know. Let me know. You guys have to choose. I don't know if it's the right programs though, but I saw it. If you don't like her, give it to Matt. <laughs> that bitch not gonna use it, right? Yeah, do you think she knows how to use a flare gun? I mean, it's pretty easy. Chat, what in the chat if like... Okay, I'm curious. I'm actually curious. How many of you guys think you could use a flare gun? In the chat. One, if you think you could. Two, if you don't think you could. I actually would have to look at a physical flare. How do you use a flare? Don't they just have a rip, a rip like tie on them? Flares. That is not the kind of flare, like one of these. I've actually never held one. I was like thinking about this the other day, like these kind of flares and they last forever. I'm pretty sure they have like descriptions on how you're supposed to use them, right? Actually have never had to. Now that I think about it, what do you do? I, I see that I feel like I could figure it out too. Say, especially, I feel like it would be easier to figure a gun one out. I, I guess it just depends on like, I, it probably just has a load that like a, like in it and you just pop it in wherever and then you cock it back and you shoot it, right? Like, but yeah. I've used one, you see the plastic cap on those flares? Yeah. There's a strike pad on those flares. Oh, is it like a giant match? You know what? Let's see how to use a flare. They have descriptions on them. I always thought they had a rip cord. I'm gonna be honest. 
do's and don't remove plastic lid to expose scratch surface twist and remove cap exposing the flare igniter button gently strike the scratch surface cap against the black button to oh so it's like striking a match oh so you like flip it over and you go Ch interesting see I, see i didn't know i guess i i sincerely thought they had like a rip cord or something I don't know why I thought that, but I, I thought that's what I thought. I guess that makes sense. But also, look at all the writing on them. I I feel like I could figure it out. Like, if I I've never held one. Like, if I felt it and it had a striker pad, like the little grit on it, I would immediately know that's what it was meant to do. That is not... Do you have to do anything for flare guns? A big blade launcher. <laughs> How do you use a flare gun? Yeah. How do you use a flare gun? Are they they're just bullets? They just go in, right? How to use flare gun images? Yeah, I, I I understand. Like, does it matter? Like, yeah. Do you just you just put it in, right? What is it? <laughs> it looks like a shotgun shell. You just pop it in, right? Yeah. So you just put it in there, click it down, cock it, and then shoot it. What didn't you say? I would assume so. So I could definitely use that. <laughs> yeah, okay. They show them as shotgun shell-esque. Yeah. Pop it how, though? So, like, uh, the metal bit is in the end here. So you just put it down in it. And then it shoots it out. It, should, it probably ignites just like a bullet does. It has a pin. I would assume so. You just like put it in. It only fits one. It it only fits one way. It only fits one way. Like this kind of like shell. So you would be able to figure it out. You would. It would only go in one way because the whole shell doesn't pop out. Like this part would still remain. It's the middle that comes out, and then you just pop it out and put a new one in if you shoot another one. Yeah. Okay. So they shoot like a normal gun. This. So this. Your your gun has like a little pin that like the hammer hits and it like touches like this spot at the perfect angle and, and, and then that's what ignites it so it just let go the pin goes boop and pops it it's why like holding a bullet it can't just go off or explode or anything it's because it needs the the pin to like hit the uh the the igniter at the end i'm explaining it terribly but yeah this little button at the back this so this you, you load it back and it stays and the spring power of it going back which it releases when you pull the the button this is a safety um when you put it in it'll sit there and then when the pin snaps back it hits this this is what ignites the gunpowder inside and then shoots off the projectile which in this case would be a flare okay i understand <laughs> <laughs> so yeah they have descriptions on that yeah nah but it does the have a the wait nah, but nah but you know what does have a ripcord a beyblade launcher you're right you're right <laughs> yeah i've seen some folks put it in the front uh i wonder maybe do you think do you think any of them load from the front i know like fake guns do I guess it just depends. You'd have to look how you're supposed to use it. Anyway, okay, sorry, sorry. We went on a journey. So what you guys think we should give it to Matt? Do you think Matt's gonna be able to save her? Watch her like drop it. You guys, do we think? Yeah. No, they don't? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like you can see this one loads from up, like near up front too. Like not the top. Okay, I guess we'll give it to Matt. Let's go. Although he would have had the axe, so 
Stop! That ought to get some of the tension. Why did you already use it? Yeah. Boss, don't last that long! I can't even see it! Bro, that was a waste. There better be another shot in that thing. He, he blew it. He blew it. Dude, there's... N in, yeah, here we go. Nice in, okay. in this one weather, now. no one's gonna see that. No one's gonna be looking. No one's gonna be looking. That was, like you saw, the hammer needs to strike the piece housing the powder. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anything would, like, if you load from the front. I'm trying to think if there's anything you can load from the front like that. It it would have to go all the way back in the barrel. Yeah, what an idiot. Dude, what? No, they're not going to see it. In this snowstorm, even if it's the top of the mountain, at the, in the middle of the night, who the fuck is looking up here? <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, not a good time to use a flare. I would- I think they- it would have been better to flare someone in the face. If we get attacked. Service for Blackwood County. Over. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Please say something if you're out there, please. We need help. Over! Over! Shit. Hello? Hello? Oh my god! Thank god! We need help, please! Hello? Is someone trying to contact us? Say SOS please, or help. Please, please help. Oh my god, we're stuck on Blackwood Mountain and there's a maniac. We need help, please. Hello? Dude, my name is Emily or help us. Chat. My name is Emily or help us. I think help is probably the right answer. And thanks, Pixie. I love you. Hugs. Hope your cleaning is going well. Bruh. What is SOS in Morse code? I does do people know it? Is it three dits and then a daw and then three dits again? Or is it three dits, a dit, and then I have to Google it. I think it's like three dots and then a dot and then three dots. I think is SOS. I think we should say help. I think we should ask for help. Help! Oh my God! Please help! We're stuck. Ah! Uh, stop mountain. talking so much. And, and there's a killer, and he's killed one of our friends. Oh God! Please, come get us, please. You're not coming through clearly. Please repeat. Over. At least they can probably tell which. Well, do they? Do radios like this like have in? have a reverse transmission will they know like the location we're at like we're transmitting from i don't know with this technology if they can reverse i would just say help we need help top of mountain help help like you don't need to say what your name is you need location and that you need help and that there's a murderer maybe like please send help like people are injured people are dead Help, H E L P, <laughs> S O S. Like, we're gonna die. We're up on the mountain. Okay, we're gonna inform. We're on Blackwood Mountain by the ski lodge. There's a killer, and he's after us. He's already killed one of our friends. Oh God, please! Control the cadence oh, of your voice, woman. Speed trick motion sensor. Probably fucking deer. I read you, ma'am. Please do not leave your position. We will send out <laughs> helicopters to get you as soon as a storm. Oh! Dude left his axe at the bottom. What? When? How long? Dawn? At the earliest? Dude, there's a snowstorm. They can't fly in that.
Bro. can get out if he climbs that though where is he gonna go God, God, help me, how are we supposed to help her coming and this is pretty unsteady over here Matt, you gotta do something right now dude girl look behind thinking. you let me think go let ahead go to the ledge you just get me out of here oh my god uh suspicious i saw you with <laughs> gonna be fun chat oh, are you are you guys in a in a life and death scenario gonna be petty bitches do are we petty bitches <laughs> like, get me out of here i saw you where they're like both about to die <laughs> damn it's jurassic park all over again which reminds me of that dude this bitch has zero skills. Long live the king. <laughs> Chat, which one? Which one? Do we do we suspicious or supportive? I again, I would apologize if somebody spilled hot soup in my lap. Cut the fat? Oh my god. <laughs> Get me out of here, bitch. Do something. That's true. That's true. She is being rude to him, like while trying to like be saved. You're right. Petty for life? Oh my god, okay. Is that uh, why you still like Mike? He's a thinker. Matt! <laughs> Matt don't. What's going on? Don't move. Chat. Chat. Which one? Which one? Do we keep... Do we continue? With being petty? Dude, I'm the type of person... I, petty to death more like it. Okay. I saw you with him! Christ, Matt, we were just talking. Oh my god, this is not the time! Insistent, tell me what's going on. You and Mike are uh, demanding you and Mike are done? Or insistent, tell me what's going on. Chad wants blood. Yeah, they do. Ashley, hello! L2, R2, Chad. Which one? Tell me what's going on or you and Mike are done. <laughs> I guess both are kind of like R2. Okay. Thank you, you for the Mike follow. Are done. You get it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> now will you please get me off this goddamn tower? Please, please, please Him not just thinking. do something. <laughs> oh, I dropped the say. <gasps> Chat, do we jump to safety or do we save Emily? What do we do? 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 What do we do, chat? We wasted a lot of time. Jump to safety or save Emily? Which one? Which one, chat? Which one? We are, n are not no hero. <laughs> That's a double negative. What does it mean? 
<laughs> jump to safety. I mean, obviously he should have done that first. Gonna jump. He should have done that first because like then he might be able to help her from like not both dangling. Good! You both dangling off something. Jump! Dumbass! This is not at all how my original playthrough went. Oh my god. She wasn't up there? Oh yeah, I, I, I forgot! Her. We screwed everything up with Sam! Here. I haven't seen her either. Chad, you think he's dead? <gasps> oh! Did that just happen? Damn it, what is going on Somebody get here? Emily! Or not Emily, what's her name? What's her name? What, what is this girl? Ashley! Somebody get Chris, poor that, Ashley a what, new change Chris, of clothes! Dear say, God, she's just covered in Josh shame. blood. I know. How hard that was. Josh was your friend. Ashley, stop. No, I want to say, I mean, thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Okay, I think this is not Ash, the time to remind him. Okay, I, I, I couldn't let anything happen to you. I couldn't. Dude, Ash, I mean, why? what he should have done yeah, to be just, begin with is jump across to start out with and, and then try close, to save her. Chris. Let's just find Sam. I don't know. Or does he help oh her up God. and then they both jump? I don't know. What the heck? Aw. Oh. This is so effed up. She's really pretty. Again. Champion saved. <laughs> Dude, it's... Dude... How is it only one dude messing with it? Oh! Whoa! Or is it haunted? Uh, did, did I see what? That, Chris! That. I don't feel what like in my first that? playthrough, like, I had much paranormal like activity at all. Like a ghost. Oh, boy. I'm serious. Why don't you believe me? I said I saw it. Doesn't that count for anything? We, we've been through hell tonight, okay? Your mind is fried... My mind is fried. I, I don't even trust what I've been seeing. Girl, dude, you believe, you believe your girl. Even if she's crazy and you're fucking crazy after, after you just murdered Josh to save her, you let her think she sees anything and you deal with that shit tomorrow. Did she die? Uh, probably, I don't know. She went down a big crevasse. She probably dead. She probably dead. But, okay. Uh, insist I saw a ghost or concede I don't know what I saw. Dude, I feel like she's allowed to think sh whatever she no, wants. you are wrong. I saw it and I am sure, Chris. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe it's, maybe you did see something. Let's just, let's just keep our heads. Are we Dude, if she saw something, she there? saw something. Leave it's, her alone, it's, it's Chris. the only place left Sam could be, Ash. I wish we could just go find everyone else and. What if Sam needs us? What if she's in trouble? Oh, God. <laughs> Y'all need to get a weapon if you're going to be Let's walking go. around this place and thinking you're going to save anybody after a murderer, like, bonked you back on the back of the head earlier and kidnapped. Dude, they're just like, Let's go look for people with no way to protect ourselves and no way to save them if we need to. We don't even... Dude, I'd be at least carrying a frying pan or something or some, like, bolt cutters, piece of wood. Something heavier than a plastic flashlight that I'm gonna break. I'd carry that fucking broom. <laughs> Dude, surely there's a screwdriver down here. You can impale somebody with that. Am I the kind of terror? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, gotta be I'm like a doomsday kind of person. Do you guys like look at all? Oh my god, that scared me. How did everything get so freaky around here? Door slamming and candles. Lighting it out of nowhere and then you guys shouldn't have touched the Ouija door. board. What did I say? I, I, I think you're kind of ignoring what's really happening here. Don't tell me you didn't see that translucent white figure just passing right by us. We, we, we could be seeing things. I'm not Bro! imagining things. Chris, shut yeah, well, up! I, I, mean, I saw things too. I, I, I saw what happened to Josh in the shed. You know, and that's, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, Chris. Dad, why is I Chris know. just denying you know, up the butt? Okay, I'm worried about Sam. 
What, what, what's happened to her? If there's some maniac out here, then she could be dead too. Don't I would grab a, 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 a bottle of wine to smash on someone's head. Am I? Are you guys also doomsday like, uh, like, like paranoid people? Like you look at an object, you're like, if I was stuck in this place, I would use that to hurt somebody and protect mine. Like, do you guys think like, do you guys like think like that? And and know where? <gasps> Wait, Chris, 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 the ghost. What? Did you see it? No. You were looking at your phone, you dip. What are you tweeting? Hashtag, there's a freaking ghost after us. Ash, calm down. Okay? <laughs> there's no ghost here. A ghost of what? Chris, shut up! Of what happened with Josh. You're not paying attention. I saw it. I saw a ghost, and it looked like Hannah. It looked wait, like wait, Hannah. Wait, 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 what? Maybe Beth. Jesus, Ash. What, what, what do you think? They followed us up here from the seance? I don't know. Maybe. They didn't, because ghosts don't exist, okay? Leave her alone, okay, you, but she's been traumatized. Seance, Chris. I don't know. Why is he such a dick? You see that, what Chris? That? How does a picture just jump off the wall like that? Oh, I wonder how, Chris. I wonder. After all the shit you've seen, this is what you're questioning? Oh, God. Look. Look, 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 look Chris. Oh, no. The dollhouse. I, I, the I, how did I know? How did I know? How did I know? No. It's a whole scene with dolls and everything. Yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> Okay, I understand he's trying to keep it together, but he's also, like, not being nice about right, it. I, I guess you need a key if you want to play around in there. I want I want to play around in the dollhouse. This feels important. It feels important. Oh, man. Like, I understand he's trying to keep it together because she's, like, freaking out. But he's not doing it in a sympathetic way. He's being mean. And it's like, I understand they're both traumatized, but, like, bruh. Bruh, maybe, maybe did the ghost give us the key? Um, 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 Hannah! Beth! Beth, is that you? Beth, you want to give us a hint of what we should do to, like, save everybody? Oh, yeah, I saw this pain thing before. Oh, oh, the key! <gasps> they are showing us the key. Nice. Her hair oh, manicure is still. <gasps> oh my god! There, look there, Chris. You can't. Oh, yeah, you, you have seen that. that. That's, uh, see? That's. Uh, you do see it. I don't know. I. 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 I <laughs> it's crazy. Chris, is showing us the way. Oh, this is unbelievable. I feel like the ghost wanted me to see this. What? What? Whoa, 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 what is going on here? Oh, God, it's, it's like... It's not like anything, that's us. We're <laughs> hiding there, waiting for Hannah, last year. <gasps> but it's, it's so accurate. I mean, that's exactly where I was sitting, and that's where Matt was. This was set up by someone who was there. Or someone, or something that was watching us. Maybe it's a warning. I think oh. someone... I think someone put this here to mess with us. No, it has to be the ghost. It's trying to tell us the maniac killed Hannah and Beth. I think it's this bastard that he's, he's here trying to fuck with our heads. Why would he set this all up, Chris? It could be either. It could be either. It could be either. He's gonna come after it could, us all like... Dice! I still think that it could low-key be, low be Josh trying to get it back at all of us for, like, murdering his siblings. Because they were, like, but Chris and, and him were, like, knock, like just conked out upstairs. This is Hannah's it's, diary. It's Hannah's diary. Oh, my gosh. Mike confirmed he phoned Josh this afternoon. I really think Josh is doing better now that he's out of the hospital. I saw him today. This was before, a couple months before we all came up. He's pretty I saw up him today and he seemed better. He's pretty upbeat, but he talked like he's been doing therapy for such a long time. I guess I didn't know mom and dad never let on. Funny how you cannot even know your own brother. I kind of need a good cry thinking about how lonely he must feel. Mom finally agreed. The invitations are out. The party is going to happen. I hate that I have to wait so far. Ash, Matt, Sam have said definitely yes. Nothing from Mike. Dot, dot, dot.
Is there anything else? Woohoo, party! Everyone being together oh. here on the mountain is gonna be so awesome. Cozy, Cozy fire, hot tubs. And hot tubs and OMG, Mike, I am so psyched to spend some time with him. I can't read this. It's so sad, Chris. I'm so, uh, I totally gotta stop obsessing, but I can't help it and I don't want to. It's actually happening. Mike left me a note. I was like getting a little love letter. Is Sam in on it? Cause there was even a little drawing of me on the back. So sweet, oops. Oops, sorry chat. Um, oh shit. I'm trying to scroll the thing. Cause, uh, da -da -da -da, so sweet. I'm gonna wait, going to wear the shirt he said he liked and wait till the others take the party back into the kitchen. Then I can slip on by and I guess he'll be in the guest room. So much happening. Wanted to tell Beth, but she'll only go and tell me that it was a stupid idea, but she doesn't understand how long I've waited for this moment like this. It's too much to hope that he'll confess his feelings about me one step at a time, Hannah. Oh, God. And then she died. And then she died! Thank you for red pads! Oh shit, is my VTuber broken? Sorry guys. Let me reset and what was that? Came from down there. There we go. Oh god, what the foreground with the dolls this is great. Oh Okay, but why assume? Okay, I feel like it could be either, but him being like, yo, you saw nothing is like worse. Just be like, yeah, you saw something. And then like, protect her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chris wasn't a part of the being me and- Nothing. But you did see it, Chris, for real. Dude, Chris I wasn't a part of it. He was asleep, something. but she joined but in on the prank against, uh, against Hannah. You know? What's the- Oh! <gasps> what the fuck? Wait, what? Why is this here? You think it's the guy? Well, that'd make sense, I guess. Fucking turn it I off! Don't like being watched. Turn it off! Better? Turn it off! Go suck an egg. Now it's better. Bro. Hey. Hey, look at this. It's a catalog for industrial light bulbs. That is so random. Is there anything inside it? It looks like one of those weird books that like opens. Look, one of Original. the bulbs is circled. Yeah, it's a powerful bulb. Why? Okay. Huh. Yeah, it's, let's keep those. That's a good weapon. Butterfly effect! Oh my God. Okay, what have we done today? We Matt supported Emily's plan. Matt fired a flare. That was not helpful at all, bro. You should have saved that shit for down in the mines. Sam got herself caught last time. Matt walked calmly. Matt and Emily escaped unscathed. Yeah. Emily gave the flare gun to Matt. Bad idea. Matt jumped to safety. Ashley took the scissors. Bro, I already know we've missed stuff, which upsets me. My OCD compels me. It's okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. Chat, I've been having some wicked, like, nightmares lately. I like really bad ones. I'm actually, I was like thinking about it today. I'm really glad I took stream off yesterday because I took a nap before stream. And then, like, when I woke up, I had like the worst freaking nightmare ever like right before stream and i only like really realized it like after i had like agreed not to stream anymore so just when you think it can't get any creepier mm. oh. <gasps> oh, <geez. sighs> god damn chat do you guys have a lot of nightmares is that normal almost every dream i have is like every night i have nightmares since i was a kid i've always had night mostly nightmares 
I used to have night terrors as a child. I don't know if I've ever talked about that that much. But I don't know if that's like normal. Hi, Night River! It is the spooky mystery. month. It's mammoth. Chris, I don't know if I want to keep going. Wait, does this go to the scene asylum? Uh, not normal. I'm on a lot of medication, so I wonder if that, like, where I go through phases where I don't dream at all or I dream a lot. Now. But Are I've had, I me? used. Did you know this was here? Do you guys want to know a really, 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 really creepy thing that I, I had as like a six year old? <laughs> I don't even know if Nerva knows this story. Um, I actually don't know where these, like, I wasn't, like, I didn't have older siblings. I didn't watch, like, super, like, my parents never watched scary shows or whatever. So I don't know where this idea came from. But it had to have been before the age of, like, eight because I was still living in Washington. And I moved here when I was in third grade. So it was, like, eight or nine. Ew, ew. Um, So I, I distinctly have this memory of, like, being, like five or six maybe i don't know very young like like before i moved here to montana so very young um and i remember i was in like my old house and i remember like someone broke into the house this is a nightmare i had and i um and like someone like knocked me out or like gassed me or something and then i woke up like i was like coming to like tied in in a chair and I remember like looking down and having like all of this like pain on like my stomach and my arms. And I look down and I have like these like stitches on my like all the way up my arms and stuff. Like I like and there was like glowing like light that was like flashing from like underneath my skin. And I thought I had like a bomb like sewn under my skin. And that's like a nightmare I had as a child. I'm like, where did that, like, how does that even happen? Yeah, I like recently remembered that. Like I was thinking about it cause I've, I've always known I had this nightmare but it's only like now that I'm like an adult I've like thought about it again. And I'm like, that is like incredibly like grotesque and visceral for like a child's dream. Do you know what I mean? Like, where the fuck do you even get an idea like that? I don't even know. I don't know if, like, maybe, like... I was thinking about it the other day because, like, people were talking about, like... I saw a, a YouTube video about 9-11 and stuff. And that all happened. Maybe that's where that dream came from. Maybe, like, people talking about, like, terrorism or, like, blowing up planes or... Like something like that is what triggered it. I, I, you, you know what I mean? Like that fear during that time or something. I don't know, but, um, cause like I would have been three, four, f three or four. Yeah. Like three, almost four when 9 11 happened. And then, I don't know, but yeah. But I thought that was pretty, that was pretty, like, grotesque for a dream of a child to have, like, a, like, to have. Yeah. I don't know about nightmares since I don't actually get scared in my dreams anymore. See, that too. Um, it's weird. I will say, so, like, I know they're nightmares because they're very, they're, like, stress dreams. Like, I wake up, like, feeling, um... Most of the time I become like, when it gets too scary, I actually become like alert to the fact that I'm dreaming and I'm knowledgeable that I'm dreaming and that it's not scary anymore. Like it never hits like a, there's only a few times I wake up and I'm actually scared. Most of the time, like I'm aware, like by the time it gets scary, I'm aware it's a dream and it's not real. Um, and I become like lucid in my dreams. But like most of the time, I, I every single night though, for years, um, I usually wake up and I can tell I had a bad dream. I just don't remember most of them. Or I don't dream at all. I, I, I've had a lot of phases. I, I should talk to my... I'm going to have a sleep study done. I should definitely bring that up. Maybe that matters. Um, but yeah. But my even, when I was a little kid, um, I used to like wake up like screaming a lot. And I always had nightmares. <laughs> all the time. Slept with my parents for years because I would wake up like screaming in the night. Um, like, I was probably, like, 12 when I stopped sleeping in my parents' room. 
I don't exactly get scared of my dreams, but I had a weird dream of a bunch of dinosaurs, hydras, and giant lions and other animals being set loose. I survived, but things went like zero to a hundred. See that that like those stress, like you're being chased dreams. Yeah. But I used to have sleep paralysis a lot, dude. I actually have only had that a couple times. Or like I keep having this reoccurring dream. I had it last night of like a theme where um I, I've had this, like, theme happen a lot. And so the theme is that... Obviously, in my brain, I know I'm dreaming. I think that's what causes it. But I keep getting, like, confused. And, like, ending up in, like, locations that I don't remember. And then I can't tell if I, in my dream I'm dreaming or, like, it happened. So, like obviously it's a dream and that's why it's confusing but like my brain is trying to figure out and i keep like teleporting ending up in different locations and then like freaking out because i think that like i somehow like lot like have like a time gap in my memory if that makes sense and i'm like how did i get here what did i do and there's like and then the people around me are like telling me like what happened since then i'm like why did you do that and whatever and i don't remember any of it because it didn't happen because it's a dream but like in my dream i'm like freaked out because i keep like <laughs> oh <laughs> shade of dragon thank you so much for the sub how are you how have you been? Thank you for the support. But yeah, yeah, it's super. Jordan. But yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know. It's super, it's super weird. But yeah, I keep, I've been having this like reoccurring thing where like previous dreams are like stacked on top of each other. And like, I keep having this reoccurring like thing where like things happen. I don't remember it, but it was like, Oh my god, like, I, I'm, like, having time lapses, you know? I also have this reoccurring dream where this, like, doctor wants to, like, and it just keeps adding on itself. It's not the same dream. It's, like, the same storyline where, like, I keep, like, needing to have, like, a weird test where they, like, do, like, scope my eyeball or something or, like, do something, like, weird while I'm awake. And I keep saying I don't want to have it done. And they keep, like, the same doctor's office. Like, I keep having to tell them I don't want to have this, like, freaky surgery. I'm like, that's some trauma. <laughs> I talk a lot. Of my oh, God. I do all How many of you guys sleepwalk or talk? I've only, like I said, sleep paralysis, like, move and, like, a couple times. Where, like, I wake up and I'm, like, in another room or something. It doesn't, I'm not very often. I don't talk very often either. If I'm really tired occasionally, Nerva hears it. I used to have a friend who sleep talked a lot and always freaked me out. She said some weird ass shit. I also, when I was a little kid, had like no friends and I every single night would dream of a little girl and we were like best friends and she would visit me in my, our, my dreams and we would like go on adventures and be my friend. And ever since then, I'm like, I think back to it and I'm like, oh my God, is that like, was I like haunted? Like, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> When your only friend is in a dream. I know. To me, it was like comforting. I was like excited to sleep and hang out with somebody because I had no friends. <laughs> but then as an adult reflecting on it, I'm like, that's a little creepy. Me and you, like running on foot like PUBG with no weapons. I got to pick up a Range Rover and we escaped like the Hydras. They look like Dark Souls. Yo, that sounds amazing, but scary. I used to have a dream as a child that I was drowning while trying to save someone. And I, I guess that helped me I trigger my fear of swimming throughout my life, especially after I almost drowned when learning. <gasps> that is like my worst nightmare. I have a horrible um, fear of drowning and I used to have uh, reoccurring nightmares. So my parents had a boat and we would go shrimping on it. And I remember as a kid hating it. My parents think I loved it. But like, and I remember me and my friend were out on the boat one time and then there was a storm and it was really wavy and we had to go in and it was kind of dangerous. And the parents were like freaking out a little bit about it. And I remember like, I always used to have nightmares where we were on the boat and then it would like sink and then we'd be stranded like in the ocean and like drown or like like there'd be like jellyfish everywhere and we get stung or like it was always really scary and like but i've never almost drowned but i ever since then i like hate the ocean i i ugh. 
when we went on a cruise when I was like uh, 15, 16, um, I also, when we were like docked and we were going into one of our pit stops, it was, uh, it wasn't, they didn't have uh, a deep enough thing for the cruise ship to dock. So you had to get on like a little dinghy and get transported. And it was kind of choppy water. And when they had, they were like loading me onto the dinghy, um, the wave kicked up and it split the, the boat from the like part of the ship that I was like getting off of, like the dock part, like the stick out that touches the dinghy, right? Like the boat. <laughs> and so they like both at the same time like swooshed apart and almost fell into the ocean so like it swooshed apart and then slammed back together and I almost got squished and one of the workers like lifted me and slung me into the boat or I would have I literally could have died <laughs> it huh? was so fucking scary and after that I was like yeah it was, <laughs> this was, I was like oh my I could have, like, I would have died. I would have been, I would have died. I would have got fucking slammed and, like, died. Like, oh, fuck. Scares me. I, like, that literally, I'm like, mm, see, see, it freaks you out too, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, God, because it, it's like you ha you go down to, the, like, the water level. So, like, if they can't, like, offload you properly, like, you know, like, in a deep harbor, they, like, send little like skiff boats or whatever out and then there's like a little spot and then you like get onto the boat but yeah they both went whoosh, and I, I like I they're like all right and I was like kind of like you know coaxing myself up because I was scared and then exactly what I was terrified of happened and someone had to grab me and fling me over and I'm like thank you god you saved my life random worker on this boat thank you Mwah. kisses like a I had a nightmare last night. All the power went off, and when I was slowly turning around, it, it made the loud sound you hear in games when you see something sanity drain damaging, and it woke me up. Oh, my God. That's scary. Stop. Oh, my God. I hate anything with eyeballs and stuff. Yes. Horrible. Never sleep, talk, or walk when you, your only friend is in a dream. It's true. I don't go on boats because the idea of being stranded out on the open water terrifies. Same. Same. It's the worst. So, yeah. Uh. Also, all of my health problems started happening after I went on that cruise ship. It first started with like dizziness and migraines, and then it was just like from there. So, hotel. I had no idea this was here. Yo, this is so creepy. What the, 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 the this is just inside their their house. Sorry, we went on a journey. But now you guys know all of my really creepy dreams. Yay! <gasps> Totem. Did we know that there was like a hotel up here before? Or did we just think it was a lodge? Emotional damage. Uh, I don't know what any of that is supposed to mean. I don't like any of that. That was a hunger totem. Very nice. Linker poo uh, crept on over and tried to jump scare. Oh, can you feed the dog? Uh, it's like two hours past Linker Poo's dinner time. I just realized. <laughs> oh shit. Nerva, did you hear me? Nerva, we forgot to feed the dog. Oh, you did? Okay, never mind. You already fed him. I I I lied. Okay. Whew. I don't think I can take any more of this. <sighs> yeah, I'm a. Uh... I'm about at my limit here, too. All I wanted to do was forget last year ever happened and- To be honest, I'm not sure what Hannah thought she was doing. Yeah, well, you know how it is when you're crushing pretty hard on somebody. Great, so you're basically saying that we put a vulnerable friend in a terrible situation and essentially caused her to run away and never to be heard from again. Uh, yeah, you guys 100% caused her death. Uh, you know, maybe her death uh with without that happening like y'all would be fine or you guys would all be dead but either way y'all are assholes <laughs> just a prank cam hannah overreacted or we made her look stupid uh chat you choose are we sympathetic or are we douchebags about it i was about 12 and i probably would have died in a pool if i didn't manage to pull myself up after my turn going off a diving board crazy part was that my family were invaded at home a day or so afterwards wait what is uh, we're invaded 
Wait, what happened? That's so scary! If it was you, don't you think you would have run away? Who I would have. being made fun of. Hannah was me. Hannah was uh, me, hopelessly me. in love with Your people. Face. What? Chris, we made her look so stupid in front of all of her friends and the guy she liked. I can't imagine doing anything worse to somebody. Yeah, dude, what else is new douchebag about? <laughs> Dude, okay, sorry the ad's going. Um, dude, they're so mean. Like, that is not cool. That is, like, the worst thing ever. I would literally... That is, like, my worst nightmare. I was definitely the kid who was, like, the hopelessly in love with people and, like, not cool. And no one liked me back. And didn't have very many friends. And, like, I'm the kind of person who, like, I got invited to something I go. And I was, like, the sympathy invite, you know? And, like, that shit would happen to me. I would get invited somewhere and they'd do something mean or something. I would, I would literally, ugh. Man. Smoked Gouda! Share. Oh, I've been seeing all these recipes for Brie. And i just been like, oh. I need to buy it. I, maybe I should ask my mom to buy a, a wheel of brie so that I can make something out of it. What time is it? I'm a totes text her to pick up brie on the way home. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. If y'all stop at a grocery store on the way home, can you get a thingy of brie cheese. I wanna try cooking some of it. Yum. There we go. <laughs> Let me see. I feel like if I go to my liked video history, I've been actually doing this because I figured one of these days it would be cute to like react, chat. Oh, 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 I finally found. Okay, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but I finally found one of those like videos where like um, they are doing crazy ice cubes. Remember I told you that there's like a trend of crazy ice cube people and I said I was going to turn into that. Look at this shit. This is not as, as, like, aesthetic as, like, some people I see, but, like, crazy ice cube ladies. I don't know why it, like, froze. There it goes. I told you. I told you there was, there was... There is crazy ice cube people. Dude, they get crazy with them ice cubes. They get crazy with those ice cubes. Mom said, I heard Costco has one that has sweet toppings that you bake. Oh my God, that's exactly what I want. That's literally, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. Ooh. Uh, I said, can you get a wheel of brie so that I can make something? And then she said that she's found one that's like, it's all set up and you just bake it at Costco. And I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I needed. See the crazy, the crazy ice cube people. This is me. I'm turning into the crazy ice cube lady. Just wait till I get my poop cubes chat. I feel like I had another video to show you guys. Let's see. Oh shit. That, I don't even know. Dude, it's like not even playing my like list. It's just playing random shit. Why? Go, go back to my like list. Uh, I totally had something that I wanted to show you guys. Where? I don't know. Never mind. I, I take it back. I don't see what I was going to show. Either way. Okay. Thank you guys for watching the ad. We shall continue the game. Yay! 
A couple of thieves came to our old house in Miami and took items from my parents, clothes from my older brother and my keyboard. It was quite a shock for us and it happened in broad day. <gasps> Were you guys home? Oh my god, that's so scary. I'm so happy you guys are okay. Dude, you just need some brown food. See, I feel like that's true, monkey. You could make them any. I was like, oh, I figure we could make it for coffee. I'm hyped for it. I'm gonna become the cube lady. That's so scary. Oh no. Wait, why is this here? It's Hannah's bracelet. Sam's bracelet. Oh, it's and Sam's. <gasps> oh, that's whose bracelet this is. We've seen this. Fast. So, I guess she's down here then, because we did see him down here. I don't remember any of this. I'm sure it happened in the original game, but I, I totes don't remember it. It's been so long since I played. Which, yeah, I'm, I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm, ha I'm having fun. It's all crazy to me. Return address, quality coffee. Are these fake? Why would anyone make fake newspapers? <laughs> That's a really good question. That's weird. I'm glad she explained because I'm like, huh? Huh? No, that's literally like a bellhop thing. Like cart. Why why is why is there a hotel here? Was there a hotel here? Fake news. <laughs> you know what? No. Ash. No, I've had enough. I'm not going down any further into this nightmare, Chris. Ashley, I Thanks, understand, Sarah. okay? I'm really freaked out too, but if Sam's down there all alone with a maniac and we leave, we're basically killing her ourselves. I'm really scared or courageous. Let's find Sam. Chat, what, what would you choose? What would you choose? Yeah, check out the YouTube channel. Hopefully, I'll have the second play the video of uh, little or I keep trying to say little nightmares. I don't know why. Uh, Silent Hill will be coming out next episode two. Hopefully, I'll have that done tomorrow. Mama didn't raise no bitch. <laughs> My parents were home. My brother was at a friend's house, and I was in a summer camp. That's so scary. I'm glad everyone was okay. God, so freaky. I'm glad, dude, I'm always terrified that like if something like that happened, like they would attack my dogs or something or like release them. Baked brie, fig jam and chopped walnuts. Mm, I don't know if I like figs. I wanted to do honey and garlic. All right, courageous! God damn it. Ashley, come on. I feel like Why Ashley would go. Right? I'm Look. not always right. Well, when you're right, you're right. I don't want to be. I want to leave. <laughs> no, we've got to find Sam. <laughs> that's Let's literally go. Angel. That's like me when it's like disassociating. Like I'm telling a story and then all of a sudden I'm like. And then I, re I start retelling the story. Dude, literally the other, like, I think it was this morning or yesterday. I asked, I asked Nerva if he'd like fed the dogs or like did something. And then I left the room and I came back and then I asked him again. And I'm like, he's like, you literally just asked me this. And yes. And I was like, I am so sorry. I like, whoo. Like sometimes my short term memory when I'm tired or I don't feel good does not clock. Zora, you're scaring me! <laughs> Stop! Yes. I'm getting a really weird feeling from all of this. What do you mean? So we're saying that the same guy who made the newspapers also set up the camera, right? Yeah, I, I think so. It's just, it feels like he's constructing this whole story for us, then watching us run around, freaking out, seeing what we do, like it's like it's some sort of fucking experiment. Yikes, that, that's kind of... Yeah, that actually makes a weird sort of sense. Right? Okay, sorry, I was texting my mom a list of food I wanted. 
I asked her to pick me up some red wine too while she was at it. Dude, I hate buying alcohol. I hate dealing with being carded. I don't know why. It's literally not a big deal, but I hate doing it. So I was like, can you buy me red wine? <laughs> Yo, Chad, I got fireball. If it's any consolation, I got fireball. I don't remember any of this. What the fuck is Ooh. that? TV and lights. Oh, so they can mess with us. Okay. That's weird. That is weird. That is weird. Yo, more of these external lighting things that we saw in um playing Silent Hill. Interesting. Imagine just staring out and spacing out. When I was little, I was homesick and someone robbed us. They stole my dad's power washer that was in the garage and I heard a noise and I got up to see the car speeding away. At least like it, you weren't like Check attacked out, or anything. Chris. Okay, I'm glad. It all looks fairly intricate. I don't know, man. That looks... These timers. This is some real secret squirrel stuff. <laughs> secret squirrel stuff! Okay, Chris is me. Chris is me. It really does feel like, though, like the amount of shit they're doing to mess with us. It, it's surprising. It's just one dude, you know? It was a Sheba all along. <laughs> Okay, girl. Nerva and I were talking about this like in um the other day and in the car, but Nerva said, like, you guys know I have a horrible reaction time. He says that like a lot of times oh, this is so I react to things like quicker than him, and I'm like, I don't know what it is, but like uh, oh, boy. in emergency situations, I, I like my is... mommy Mizu comes out. Yes. Unless the Washingtons were into some freaky shit in their spare time. Is then, it possible yeah, this is like a probably. movie set? <laughs> and not something like old and abandoned? <laughs> you know, although the flies and stuff and it being smelly might beg the difference. Oh God. Oh. Shit, is Emily dead? Does that mean that we got, that Emily is dead dead? Or did we really dislike Emily? Is everybody alive except for M? Wait, but Josh. I don't know. I think, it, I think we killed Emily, guys. I think we what fucking killed this, her. Like fucking hit list? Christ. I don't know. Uh, it's not good. All the more reason. Hey, somebody's been wearing some camos up in here. Hiding in the woods. Snowy though, those don't work. You gotta get some white camos now. Uh, so this is where all the pig heads are fucking coming from. Oh no, you've got to be How do you me. get this Repulse many pig him. corpses up the this mountain? It, wait. Why the hell is that here? Like a I'm just saying there has to be another way to get up the mountain besides uh besides the the cable car. There's no way it's just the cable car because like there has to be a road up and down. How else do they build all this stuff up here? There's roads somewhere. There's no way everything was hauled up the mountain in a cable car. Uh, they weren't bringing like dead pigs up the mountain in a cable car. There's a road somewhere. That's how we should get down. Just take the long road down. It's snowing, your tracks get covered fairly quickly. That's that's what we should be going. Oh, it must. <gasps> okay, I thought that those were like morgue doors. I was wrong. seems progression-y, doesn't it? I think Josh is the killer. He, he could be. What about Jessica? I mean, we wasted time yapping instead of moving to safety. That's true. We did, we did yap it up. We did call her, her trash ass out. 
Maybe we should go back. Maybe this this is I don't know. I keep accidentally progressing, you know? And then missing stuff. Thinking I'm going the wrong way and then I don't. Who's okay, whose notebook is this? Oh, wait, it's Sam's sketchbook. Right? These are nice sketches though. I do like these. I do. Are we going to say anything about it? Why is that down here? Did Jessica die? Oh shit, you're right. Did uh, I don't know. She fell down a hole and was naked. It would you it would seem as though, wouldn't it? Okay, I think that's progressing. Let's go back. I don't know, man. Chris, move out of the fucking way. Move. We Move! Chris! Chris, move! Are we like hard stuck with the jump scare? The Crap. Look at that. Stop. What? Might be Sam's. All right, let me see. Oh man, we didn't look at the projector. Yeah, I got me. Oh damn, this thing is heavy. Dude, I always progress I by accident. I, I can't hold it. God. Oh, Come on. Chris. Wait, what? I think I just saw Sam over there. Ash, are you sure? I don't know, but come on, I think we should check it out. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure whoever's bleeding came through here, okay? So we've really got to get moving, like, now. Okay, well, I guess I can't look at the projector, and I accidentally progressed. <laughs> I thought the projector was going to be progression. Ah! Chat, do we go with Chris, or do we go the other way? Do we split up and look for clues? Split up and die. Do we, do we, do we, do we, do we, do we, R2, L2, Chris or no Chris? Chat has to choose. Prim says R2. Chris or no Chris? Left or right, chat? <laughs> Ooh, I'm mad that I didn't go check the projector. I thought maybe, like, the killer left us, like, a thing and we'd see it or something. I don't know. And that would be progression, so that's my bad. Okay. Okay. You never split up the you never split up the party? Okay. Okay, it's tied then. That means or Angel says L2. So which one chat? D and D 101? Okay, chat. But tiebreaker. With Chris or without Chris? Where we saw someone or go with Chris? I think with all the corpses everywhere, I would just assume that like the killer took a pig body through there. You can always split up the party because it's funnier. All right. Well, I'm assuming the investigate is it, dude. Up. Sam. Ash. Ah! 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 Chad! Help! I'm stuck. Don't call for help after you just did that. Dude, he so hurt us. What do you mean? Flashlight off, girl. He has blue eyes. He has blue eyes. Does does Josh have blue eyes or brown eyes? Yeah, I don't think that's Sam either. Okay, we were dumb. We were dumb. We were dumb. We were dumb. Turn your flashlight off, girl. Sound effects don't happen. Hey, hey, hey. Scary. Oh my god. Thank you for the song. What yeah. is that thing? It's, it's a dummy, dummy. No, it's Sam. Why is it? it oh, it's wearing Sam's, Sam's clothes? clothes. I have no freaking idea. Where the hell did oh, it yeah, they stole from? her clothes. Remember, she's running around in a towel. 
Why did you bring it with you? I didn't think you'd believe me. And I think it's, you know, not a good sign. For Sam. <sighs> for any of us, but yeah, mostly for Sam. Shh, we've got bigger problems right now. What do you mean? The psycho, Chris, I just saw him. What? Where? Where'd he go? Maybe it's know, good we saw him. We've gotta be quiet. He's gotta be still really close. Maybe it's good we saw him because we know he's there now. Sam? Dude, we shouldn't talk. Is there anything to look at real quick? Okay, I think that's like not the right way. Okay. I was just, I was looking for clues. Jankies. Okay, let's go back. I'm scared. Oh, oh no. Hello? I know that manicure anywhere. Sam? There's walking. Turn. Sam! Chris, is she dead? Holy shit, holy shit. I hear walking. I hear walking. How do you know? She's still breathing. What the hell is wrong? She's been knocked out. Dude, but she was screaming a second ago. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Hit him. Hit him with those glasses. No, get back. Stay the hell away from me! Oh, I got him! I got him! I got him! I was hard! What? Oh, my fucking head. Oh, <sighs> shit. Oh, crap. Ash! Ash! We fucked up, Royally. Dude, we got a black eye now. Jesus, Ash, what did he do to you? I think he hit me. Shit, I'm gonna murder his fucking face off. <laughs> what is this? This is him. Oh, this is the guy who killed Josh. Oh, God. No! God. God! You murdered a piece of shit! Oh, they have a gun oh, between them in one God. free hand. Die, Chris. I don't think I'm ready to die. No one is going to die. I wish I could tell you. It's just not fair. Ah! What? Tell me what? It's too late. Chris, what's the point? Oh, stop it. Just say. We're always talking around it. And now, I mean, we've wasted everything. Ashley, none of it was wasted. What do you mean? Every second. You think that I spent do you think Josh you faked his death? Bro, Josh is like with fucking time. with us. <laughs> what are you saying, Chris? Sorry. I, I should have told you how I felt. Oh, they're confessing! Actually, I swear when we get out of this. Oh, oh. No. Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't let you die. Hello there, my special little subjects. Oh, oh, shit. Chris. Oh, you should be Ash, because here's the twist. Chris has made one fatal choice already today, and now he must make another. Chris, you can take that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley, or you can shoot yourself. Whoever is left can live. The choice is yours. Okay, that's what I would have done. <laughs> Shot. I would have uh, like yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna shoot up there, too The belt you idiot <laughs> I would have shot the motor too Or the the, the camera too, you know oh my God, no! No! What what I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Stop 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 stop, stop. Oh. Chris! Oh my god, oh no! What do we do? What do we do, chat? Do we do nothing? Do we do nothing? Or do we shoot one of them? Cause like, I can't, there's no other option between, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? You think we should just like shoot nobody? Just wait it out? Just wait it out. Just wait it out. What if we both die? 
ride or die, ride or die, or do we shoot ourselves, or do we shoot Ashley? So we could shoot ourselves, shoot her, or wait. So that let's 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 just make that option one, two, and three. So. Chris shoots himself, one. Chris shoots Ashley, two. Or we decide not to shoot at anybody and see it, number three. The killer wants you to do it. You think we should have, maybe we should have waited it out when we saved her before. You think three? 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 Okay. <laughs> Too far now. Don't you see? Huh? Don't you see that this torture porn has gone too far? Huh? Now, what gives you the right to play God in these people's lives? What makes you so special then? Huh? He has a, he's, a, he's holding his arm where he got hit. You're sick. You're a sick fuck! <laughs> what the hell have you done to them? Huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psychopath. Yeah, who is Psychopath. it? He has blue eyes. <laughs> did we die? What, did we die or not? Four hours until dawn. Dr. Hill, but young? That's a good idea. Ugh. Oh, we're Sam. 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 <gasps> Wake up. Why is that you? Mike's down here too? What the fuck? Get over here. Go, Sammy, go! <sighs> She's a badass. Oh, oh shit. Oh, go, go, go. Beautiful manicure, though. There we go. Nice. Give it back. Give it back to him. Don't throw it away. Oh, my. Thank God you found me. It's okay. It's okay. You okay? Concerned, where's Jessica? Or curious, how'd you get down here? Chat, which one? Curious or concerned? Like, yeah. <laughs> Didn't she die at the end of that one stream earlier this week? Uh, <laughs> I guess you never know. That cliffhangers! Yeah, that would be really painful. Yeah, it would be really painful. You'd definitely burn yourself in the process. R2, okay, how'd you get down here? I, I don't understand. How did you... Get here, how'd you find me? Just a fucking maniac up here on the mountain. Yeah, I've noticed. He lives in this, like, web of tunnels. I was down there trying to get out. I feel like they're two different people. The person he saw isn't the maniac. He's not wearing a mask. Listen, this guy who you're talking about, he attacked me. He showed me these videos, too. And one of them showed Josh being killed. Just ripped apart by this huge fucking saw blade. Jesus. Dude, I think the guy that the Mike saw is different, dude. Here? He's not There's wearing no the mask. It won't open. Can you unlock it from your side? Why do you leave her shit here? Yeah, why do you leave us stuff? Also, hi Ramrod. Hi Mitt Me. How are you guys doing? Let's see if there's anything useful in this room since we found scissors before. Okay. Yeah, there's a camera, but it's not <sighs> facing us. Okay. I guess he's, yeah, giving her a chance. Yeah, it's very possible. 
god, I just think about her bare feet walking on this material. Like, I, the, I hear the sound of, like, the broken tiles and stuff. Ow. And my stock farts. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna be spending a week all weekend at the lake house. Yo, hopefully this doesn't happen to- I'm sorry, that's not funny. <laughs> I don't really want to open that door, I don't think. This is the door. Let's save uh, Mike first. Be very quiet. Hey. Jeez, you look like hell. Nice to see you too. Give her a jacket. Give her your jacket, bro. <laughs> What are you oh. doing? Well, actually, the towel didn't turn out to be the best outfit for fighting off killer maniacs, you know. Turn around. Do you mind, Mike? Oh, uh, right. My bad. At least there was clothes okay. in there. Done. Oh yeah, that. it's gonna be way worse than these dumb that. kids are going through. What's that? Is that crying? There's no bullets in it. You guys are right! Chris, 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 Chris. Wait, you guys are right! Holy shit! Wait, so if he would have tried to shoot himself or shoot her, shoot, they would never forget those things. They would have remembered. And, and, and there were fake bullets. That's why it didn't break the machine. Why didn't he realize? I mean, really? <gasps> you guys are fucking right! Oh, that sound. The cable sound. Oh my god, I don't. I, can you. If you've been hanging there a while, you might not be strong enough to do that. Oh my god. Oh, her leg is like lacerated. I feel like if we would have tried to save her, we both would have died. I'm gonna be honest. And I'm not drunk enough to deal with this drama. Oh my god. Oh my god! Dude, she is strong. I don't think I would have the energy. I would die. I would fall. Shit! Shit! Oh! Brother. 
fucking kill. She's stealing all the hedgies from her brother, but... <laughs> Sorry, chat. Uh, she was chilling, and I was like, yo, we have to stare at, at the Zora for a second. Okay. Wait, does that mean anyone's dead? Have we killed it? Or... Oh, God. Here goes 600 bucks. Or it'd be worth it or the great in that top. No. Girl, it does not matter anymore. All right. Now we're talking. Dude, you should tourniquet your fucking leg. Or do something. It must not be that bad. She's walking on it. Ellie, hello, though. Yeah, adrenaline kicking in. I mean, people have, like, fucking lifted cars before. Oh, fuck. It really does seem like there's multiple things happening at the same time. Like, the, I think the guy on the mountain is different than the psycho killer, which is Josh. Uh, and then there's the paranormal, and then there's whatever the fucking little bald creatures we keep seeing, which I, presumably are the Wendigo. Because that's what we found evidence of, is Wendigo. <laughs> of the Incredible Hulk, true. I think Nerva's cooking something upstairs. I smells it. Okay, well, I guess we can't do anything about that. Ah, a minecart. Yeah, can we just shove that? Okay, she's sprinting. She must be fine now. Let's go look around first. I think we can probably shove the minecart into that and break it is what we're gonna find out. What's in here? That's so loud. Minor photo. Blasting crew preparing to dynamite the new shafts. Northwest Mines, December 1951. Totem. All right. Is it turn, y'all? Come on, come on, come on. I was so bad at these. There. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh. <gasps> well, that was someone dying. seems like there's other people, a lot of other people, not just us on this mountain. That's what it seems like to me. Okay, I think we're gonna, like, release the handbrake on this, and then, yeah. Let it go. That was loud, though. Surface. Can we light that? Hey, Dora. Let's look around before I continue. Is that even safe to use? You know, like there's a ladder there. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Hopefully this isn't timed. Looks like we're gonna need to power the whole thing. <laughs> Unsafe, keep out. <laughs> Yo, Lahala, thank you so much for 10 months. I don't deserve you. God, there's so many of you who have been subbed for so long and it's absolutely crazy. Thank you so much for just the incredible amount of support you guys do. Thank you. In blank out of blank clocking machine out of 36. 
Y'all are such sweetie pies. So... Do we go up or do we... Use this? How are you doing, little... <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like I... Yeah, I, I don't want to... I don't really want to trust the elevator, but I don't know if, like... Chat, do we try the elevator or do we go up the stairs? I don't know what is the progression. Elevator or ladder? What do you guys think? Elevator or ladder? Maybe the elevator is just not going to work. It's very possible. Ladders haven't failed so far. All right. Structural collapse. Recently suffered a structural collapse. I have a feeling that the elevator's just gonna like not work. In some old crusty mine. That's how I feel too. Zora, stop it. Hey. No. You be nice to him. Stop barking. Stop it. Don't bark at your brother. No. She's just been like, so when they're together, they're like besties. But then like when they haven't been together for the day and she's like through the fence, she like barks at him and I have to tell her to knock it off. I'm like, he's not gonna like you if you're mean to him. agreed with you i was not going to use that elevator you were you, you guys were right i guess girl with that bum ass leg you are not driving back up there why did we turn your flashlight turn your flashlight off your phone so much. stop 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 turn it off turn the flashlight off girl you're okay that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot they're very old it's okay they're very old Okay, what's the most concerning? Why are they on, like, pikes? They're intentionally placed there. Zora! Stop! Zora! Shh. Sit! Sit! You be good girl! You be nice to your brother! Stop barking! <laughs> Sorry. Did you make us a load of baked potatoes? Oh, this is what my tummy needs. Thank you. I would just try to crawl under it. Oh my god. Oh lord. Well, that that has to be someone up here. Right? It, unless there's a fucking dragon or something. I mean... It's that? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. No. Can we... I, I want to go back. I, I don't feel like climbing. Can I just make her fall down? Yeah, okay. Oh, I we have to climb? I was going to go look to the right. <laughs> I didn't think... Okay, chat. Leap with what that leg? Yeah, are we leaping or are we climbing? Yeah, okay. I thought we could go back down. That's why it like I Hmm. <gasps> oh shit. Damn it, I, I fucked up chat, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll do it one more time. We'll do it perfectly this time. <sighs> Dude, she uh, is a gymnast. Okay. Dude, I wouldn't trust this ladder. 
And we're going towards the flame bringer up here. You know what? Whatever. I'll enjoy the parkour. I wanted to explore more down there. I thought that this would not be the path of progression, so that's my bad. I thought we'd be, like, peeking. You know? So I keep doing that in these games. I'm always, like want to look and then I accidentally go the right way <laughs> like well just jump back down a lot more than gymnast to pull that off that's true each obstacle she overcomes she's less bitchy she <laughs> becomes that's true it's good for her good for character building <laughs> Don't say anything. I don't know which way is the right way. Oh, there's a totem. See, I keep I keep not knowing. I can't tell if it's the right way or not. And then I'm like, oh no, we're gonna miss something. Guess it is what it is. That's why this game is replayability. Different outcomes. Purple. Oh! <gasps> what the f That looked like a gunshot to the head. Oh, is this a suspended? Oh, this is not code. Dude, you're gonna step in a hole. Never run on that. Come on, for fuck's sake. Girl, stop using your phone. Oh, well, you're fucked now. Now you can't. Now you can't call for help. Now you can't call for help if you get a signal. I mean, obviously, there's still light in here somewhere. Jesus, shit! Call for help. Hello? There's fire. There has to be a person. We saw a man with a flamethrower before, didn't we? Oh, this is where we were. We came back up here, I guess. Maybe the other place, like, maybe the... The... Maybe, like, the elevator would have just brought us back to the same place. Maybe it's not that different. But. I don't know if you should do that, girl. I don't know if you should try to turn the lights oh on. Oh, my God. Finally, something works. Oh, the power wasn't on for the elevator anyway. Got it. We couldn't have went. You need to turn that generator on, maybe? Phone has a 10 minute battery life. Yeah. Damn pesky premonitions of your own death. I know. Hold on. I'm going to take a bite of my potato. Don't judge me. Potato, 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 potato for my tummy. Yeah. I'm going to dream about that brie though. That I'm going to get to cook. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm excited for the brie. Mm -hmm. I shall count down the days and I'll send you guys photos of the cheesy goodness. Bro, you guys were right. Josh was the monster. Wait, what? So he is trying to get back at us. I mean, it makes sense. I don't know why any of these people would come hang out with him after he, like, obviously murdered their sibling. Or his his sisters. You know what I mean? Like, it was their fault. They ran off into a snowstorm because they pulled such a... And it wasn't, like, a little prank. It was a very, very, very bad prank. You know? This is odd. What am I looking... What am I looking at? A barrel? Hmm. It's just a prank can. He was by, yeah. There's no way in hell I would return to this mountain. <gasps> Explosive, may maybe you're right. I don't know what the fuck that sound is. Yeah. It's like a vampire. Oh, we're outside. Kind of. There's a lot of directions. Oh, yes. 
Can we climb that with our bum ass leg? Shit. Ah, that's what I thought. And it's icy. She could try. Maybe she went to the right side more. I don't know. I would go over this side and try to climb it there, but that looks pretty fucking steep. She could probably do it. It's either... Oh, the, that's the other side of the... middle fucking name. That's the other side of the... <gasps> that's the other side of the sign of the cliff we saw! Uh-oh. Why is that down here? Oh, that... When are you getting yours, Beth? Hannah. That's weird. That's weird. Why is that down here, chat? That's the other side of the edge. We need a climbing pick. It's just a prank. This looks weird. What is this? Looks like somebody slept here. Oh. <gasps> is that Anna's glasses? Or Beth? Doesn't it look like someone slept here? Oh shit. We saw Beth's head get slammed on a rock, but they both just fell together. It doesn't mean they both died. Who buried Beth? Viva Hydrate! Some crazy death game. I'm sure to scatter collectibles everywhere to confuse the participants. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, that's the barrel right there. With love. Oh, fuck. That was to have you look for a collectible. Oh no, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, chat. I'm feeling it. Oh no. Okay, let me eat some more of my potato. What is it? Well, well, yeah, hey, you can wait. He says, what about me? Can I have some potato? And I'm like, son, this is my potato. Think of the hydrate, by the way. Is my feet too broken again? Bless you. Can we go back? Oh my god. Why is she just sat there? <gasps> you guys want some of my baked potato? That is what she was wearing. Dude, I'm surprised. Like. <sighs> Wait, is the whole body there? Is the whole body there? Or is it just rocks? And then the head on top? You know what I mean? Was the body even there? It's just coats on a rock. Do you know what I mean? I don't think the whole body's there. Just the head. Jesus. 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't think the whole body was there. Okay, so here's the door we saw before. Now we can use the elevator then, maybe? Hopefully it works. Oh, what the fuck is that noise? Go. Oh, it's working! Thank God. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's going. Oh. No! <gasps> like he doesn't see? See, it's a different dude! Oh, please don't come this way. Oh, he sees us. Oh my god. Should we light it, I guess? Oh. Is it gonna blow up? Did we kill that dude? Did we kill that dude? Uh oh. I wasn't even the, uh, we don't have the torch now. Should we have saved that? I might have made a bad choice. Oh, God. Hide or turn back. Chat, hide or turn back. Hide or turn back. He's playing a dude disguised as another dude. Chat, hide or turn back. I'm eating potato. R2, hide. He'll be mad and blow, uh, blow us up. Maybe. Yeah, where are we gonna go? We like lit up the direction. I don't come. Hi, Linka Poop. Why does he have a flamethrower? Josh. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Josh. Oh, oh, very good. <laughs> Every one of you, you got my name. <laughs> and after all you've been through, good, 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 good. I mean, how does that feel? Right? What the fuck? How does it feel? Do you enjoy feeling terrorized, humiliated? I mean, panicked? All those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No, nope, no, 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 they're gone. I don't know if you noticed this, Josh, but none of us are laughing. Oh, come, 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 come. Why the long faces? Come on. It's good to get the heart racing every now and then, right? And race, they did. What a psycho! One of you just pitter pat, pitter pat. I hope Dude, you punch Ashley in the face. Phantasmagorical spectacle. I mean, <gasps> no detail too small. Is that just no so opportunity happy? missed. It was such a delight to play the puppet master to to all of your Pavlovian panic <laughs> and, and all that gore and gore. There was gore galore. Fake bodies. I mean, God, that shit was expensive. And no retakes. Nope, nope, nope. Only double takes. Oh, you should have seen your faces. What? Hook, line, and sinker for every little stinker. <laughs> what would have happened if we would have chose yeah, Ashley? Don't even ask this squirrely little runt. He's got no clue. He's out of his fucking tree. He's definitely off his meds. Oh, come ah! on, you guys. Revenge is the best medicine. You're done. M Mike, he's sick. What? Come on, you guys are all gonna thank me when you guys Mr. become B. internet <laughs> sensations. <laughs> what, what? Oh, you better believe this little puppy's going viral, ladies and germs. I mean, we got so accurate. Unrequited love. We got, we got blood. I don't think there's enough hard drives in China to, to count all the views we're gonna get, you guys. What are you talking about, you asshat? Has you been live streaming the Jessica's whole thing? Just fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you are gonna fucking pay, dick! Ah! Ah! He just 
deserves that shit. Guys! Guys, come on. Seriously, this is crazy, you know? Shut You're up. crazy! Why'd you hit her, man? Huh? Why'd you the fucking hit her? Ah. Yeah, you don't! What are you talking you about? You punched Ashley, you piece of shit. I mean, violence is never the, oh. the option, you know? Oh. Sorry. I, I got, got into it a little so too excited. You don't hit a girl. You just don't. Dude, dude, Chris. Bro, I Good I'm for you, Chris. Bro. Where are we going? Also, Chris wasn't even there for the prank. Locking you up. Whoa. By the way. What? You can't do anything stupid before we call the police in the morning. Yeah. Come on. I didn't do anything. Are, are you yes, serious? You did. Bro? Goddamn murder is what you are. Uh, I didn't do it. Michael, please just listen to me, man. I did not hurt Jessica. Oh shit, the ad. Fun fact, while the ad's playing. Um, did you know that um, he looks a bit like Pete Davidson? He does. It's a different actor though, isn't it? But you know, he has similar eye features. Um, fun fact, did you guys know, I'm pretty sure, so what is it that people always gas other people with? Rami Malek, there you go. Um, what is it that people always gas other people with that, like, you always see in the movies where they have it? Chloroform, right? You poop! Uh, true, true. Chloroform, right? Yeah. So, I recently, I, I forget who I was watching, but, um, I was hearing someone talk about chloroform. Um, because, like, people have been known to, like, chloroform people or whatever. So, fun fact, apparently, like, chloroforming, like, is, like, super dangerous. And it's not instant at all. It, like, takes a, quite a bit of sniffing. It's not, like, instant. You gotta breathe it in quite a bit. And it's, like, super close to, like, death. <laughs> It takes minutes? Yeah, it's, like, insane. Also, like, it's really dangerous. Yeah. It, are you seriously just learning that it's dangerous? Yeah, it's super toxic. I had no idea. That's why it's a control... I had no idea that it was, like... Like, almost kills you. Serious. Like, the, like back in the day when they use it... To, like... As a form of anesthesia or whatever. Like, you're, like, doing a fine line between, like, killing someone and knocking them out. Yeah, it's like, it's like crazy. I remember. And also it's like got really like strange, I guess, like if you don't know what you're doing, like it has very like, whatever, like variable of effects, I'm pretty sure. So like, I remember there was like some guy, he like had some and tried it to see what would happen. And he tried it and the first time it didn't work. And the second time he woke up like a day later and was like, oh, it's been 18 hours. Whoops. And I'm like, what? That's fucking scary. Yeah, <laughs> use the good old fashioned bonking. Yeah, it's gotten better, but it's still a delicate. Yeah, that's why. That's why you pay uh, anesthesiologists the big bucks because they're like micro dosing poison to you practically. <laughs> I know it's not exactly that. I know nowadays most of the stuff that knocks you out, it's more or less just turning your brain off. You're not really out, you know. But yeah, this is Nerva. You can tell because it's my username. This is proof Nerva is totally fine. No need to. <laughs> Nerva! Is she flaunting? Is she flaunting? She's holding her head. She's right in front of you. Oh my goodness. I know. I know. Crazy. Yo, Michael, I love you, little stinker. I told you, full of sassafras. All the sass. Just a crazy little bean that she is. <laughs> Thank God he confirmed. He's fine. Mm -hmm. See, he's, he's fine. It definitely wasn't me or anything. Okay. Sorry, we'll continue. The ad was playing. Okay. Do we, you deserve this or shut up? Are we mean or we tell him he deserves it? 
Totally not sus. Not sus at all. Not sus at all. She's like sitting in front of Link chewing on his hedgehog that she yoinked <laughs> from earlier. She's like, look what I got. I stole your hedgehog. Okay, I got a fresh Coke. Okay, should we scold him? I feel like we should scold him because he's a child. You deserve this or dismiss and shut up. Nah, we're gonna treat him like a child. Are, are you insane? Like, like, like really? Do, do you not understand what you've done? I'm a healer, man! <laughs> I bring people together! Not like you assholes. That's enough. Oh, he was embarrassing. This is what, sure he didn't hurt Jessica because there's always more twists. Yeah. What you want to see? You're stop talking. The, you well, there's a lot of people on this mountain. There's no way it's just him. Can't take a joke. Oh, oh wait. Did it hurt you? Did you just? You feel a little. I think that's just a mannequin in that window. I'm so so sorry. Stop it. Oh yeah, he has a real gun. Michael, I'm sorry, man. I can't tell you how sorry I am that something happened to Jessica, but I swear, I swear to you, I have no idea you what You still, happened like, now. literally hit people. Like, you, okay, you hit someone in the back of the head, they fall down and, like, get, like, bonk their head on a surface. Do you know how often people fall and hit their head and die in the most, like, stupidest ways? Like... Angry, we can't trust you. Skeptical, something feels wrong. Something's wrong? <laughs> Are we being, you think something's wrong as in like he didn't do it or is something wrong like in us hurting him? Yeah, that's true. He's crazy, not a liar. Yeah, I feel like it is true. You guys are right. Just, uh, I don't know, something feels really wrong here, man. Are you joking? No. I, I'm just having a really hard time that figuring out that he would like do anything to her Jess. I saw what he did to her with my own eyes. This, this, this is her blood. <laughs> well, can't we all just get along? Okay, he's like acting like a psycho. He's acting like a psycho. I do agree though. He does seem like shocked when we tell, like he'd be like, yeah, I did do it. Like, yeah, that is true. They do have a code. There's like a reason to their madness, usually. Even if it doesn't make sense to us, they do have reasons. Damn it! I agree. Not dicking around. This is not how it's supposed to be. the follow. Down. You're just a bunch of bullies. I do think we should lock him up, though. He's a fucking problem. A guy just to try like this, guys. Huh? Tie him not to like, that pole and leave him like there. You got the guts to really do anything about it anyway. He deserves to be pissed off. Dude, Mike's ah. nicer than I am. Kick him in the butt. <sighs> Kick him in the butt. Defensive? You're a coward or aggressive. You need to shut up. I think he is a coward. He's acting like a little bitch baby. Like, the way he's, like, speaking and being like... <laughs> like, he's just being a little shit now that like things aren't going his way he's a little rich brat disregard feelings yeah sociopaths don't have a code the definition is that they completely disregard and are out of touch with empathy they have their own code though they care about themselves usually they just don't care about other people's feelings i would disagree sociopaths typically violate codes all the time no it's that they have their own code not that it's a code we stick to I think they they have like a creed that they stick to like like people who lack empathy for others or do crazy things or do like uh, like a, like serial killers or whatever. I think that just because they 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 may lack empathy and like feelings towards other people, they I think they typically have like negative feelings though. But they also they also are highly like narcissistic a lot of times and they they can have like empathy for themselves they always like feel bad and feel they're usually like feel very entitled and like for whatever like crazy thing 
that they think is correct and why they're like entitled to being able to do that you know to other people they don't care about other people's feelings they care about themselves and and everything rules and society norms tendency to make others angry or upset rem uh, lack of remorse or regret for behavior or difficult me yeah that, that i agree i just think that they have their own like that usually like when you hear like serial killers or like people who do like crazy ass shit they have a reason behind their madness whether it's like something that a, a normal person would be able to like like understand is a hundred percent but they have their own like code that they're like oh i'm doing this because of this crazy thing like that's what i deserve i mean you know like they're like holier than thou and they're like creed or whatever you know yeah so like i i think that it's like they don't follow other people it's not a code it's just their mirror justification it's like they're i wouldn't call okay i think it's like we're getting lost in the semantics I think they, like, they follow the code that they make up to set. I don't think there's, no, like, society doesn't follow a code, like, technically either. We all have a code. We think we do these things. We think we justify things. But whether your and my code is the same thing, it's different. If you think that everyone deserves to die and humanity should explode, that's still some sort of code that you, like, feel like. Remember we had that that chatter who told me that like all humans should just be murdered and die because we're monsters in chat and was going off about how evil I am for having pets. <laughs> so I think it's just like, I, I think it doesn't matter. I think it's just like getting caught in the semantics. Code and set of rules to live by, not a selfish and well, that's their rules though. They think that's the thing about someone who's like crazy like that. You can't understand them. They don't. Like, it doesn't make sense to normal people would it ever come to that conclusion. But to them, they're like, this is this is why I do stuff. It's like why, like, serial killers have, like, a rhythm and things that they do. And they're, like, meticulous. And, like, they always do things over and over again the same way. It's like, that's, like, their code of conduct of how I murder someone and how I decapitate someone. And I do this and then I do this because I'm really cool. And that's, like, you know. But yeah, I guess so. I, I don't know. I think it's just, I think it doesn't matter calling it that. Aggressive, you need to shut up or defensive. I think he's a coward. Oh, stop it. You're the biggest coward there is. Uh -huh. Yeah. I did something. I made you believe in the world I created. Damn, what a little rich yourself, brat. You were too afraid to visit. You manipulated us. You tricked us. You hurt your friends. And you did it all while you hid in the shadows. You are a coward, Josh. That's all you are. Yeah. Uh, See, he's mad. He's mad we're calling uh, him a coward. Uh, 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 okay, time me up now. Okay. Stay still, right, man. Right, right, right. Still. Okay. Yeah, tie him up if they just wiggle around. Gosh, dude. I need me a little wiggle room, huh? What does it take to shut you up? Oh, not so tight. Okay. What a little brat. He's such a brat. Ties, that's what? Where it's in God's name. What is he talking about? This is hard to watch. Yeah, we say this guy shit before. For at least three oh, hostages. Hostages. He's losing he's it. <laughs> they said he's off his medicine. <laughs> Chris and Ash. Chris is an ass. Ashley's a dumb dumb. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, what did you say? Well, I said you're a dummy, dummy. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, Ash. See, he's very, he's, a, he's very righteous in his behavior. He thinks it's oh, just I fine. I imagined in my wildest dreams that you liked me. Stop. Mm, 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 mm. You know what that sound is? It's the sound of never kissing Ashley, you pussy! Stop! Yeah, you know, you might as well love Hey, Ashley. easy, Chris! Mind. You're, I mean, you, don't fall for it. Belt, you know, he'll treat her right! You're he knows how to poke your pathetic. buttons, just, to, just leave him. Off. Don't listen to him. Not worth it. Good hey, job, Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike. Mike, oh no. What? What happened with Jess, Mike? You know what happened? No. No, I I don't. It's hard to I believe you considering you like problem, switch Mike. up a lot. I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. No, I mean like I feel 
like I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's. I don't know. It's soft. hard to tell with him. She's probably got like a really tight bod. Shut your fucking mouth! Chris, br 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 be a homie. Okay, yeah. Uh, hit Josh. No, 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 no. Let's just not. Oh, don't do Seriously? that. What? Did you think I was going to shoot him? I, I don't know. No, neither oh, of those oh, decisions Chris, were good. Yeah, Chris, you know me better than that. Uh, yeah, well. Money, thank you for the raid. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Stream. How was Minecraft? What are you guys up to today? Thank you for the raid. Everybody go give Muddy all the love. He's always so sweet and so supportive. Up, all right. <gasps> oh, you poor little piggies. You can't even get your good cup, bad cup routine to work. Leave it just leave. Bro. Dude, they just need to leave him. They just need to close the door and leave him to like have a little tantrum like the man baby he is. Bros. Why don't you go back to the lodge? Make sure everything's all right. I'll stay here with this lunatic in the morning. Oh. Sleep over. <laughs> Can we order pizza? <laughs> you sure you're okay? Yeah. I want to know everything's fine back there. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I, I, dude, they should just leave him here. He, I Stay don't think he can get out. He'll just hurt himself if he tries to. I would just like double, triple, like tie him up and be like, and so he can't even move. And I'd just leave him there. There's no way he's getting out. I just leave that little bitch ass there. Feel like you can stay in the cold and have your little baby man tantrum over there by yourself. Scary. Wait, what is scary Minecraft? How does that work? Tell me all the tea. Tell me how that goes. It's pan. It just pants him and leave the room. Yeah, that. Yeah, make him embarrassed. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like. I like the way you think, Angel. He needs to be humiliated. You literally just said he's not alone on the mountain. <laughs> okay, I agree, but but I, 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 and we know he's not alone on the mountain. I think there's other people, but I also think all of the good people should go. That's true. If he does have like a helper helping him be a turd, then I guess they could let him go. Either way, I think all of them should just go be together and then like get help and leave. And have the authorities take care of it, and that's uh, that's what I think. I don't, I don't know. Don't do it! I think he's nice. Oh. Use these. And get the hell out of here now! No, no, no! Wendigo and he's been helping us. He's the one who's been charting all the, the things and he's the one who had the dogs and the dogs were nice. He had nice poop eyes. I knew it! It was just a mod spooky music and spooky jump scare mobs and you have a heart rate. Ooh! That sounds so fun! And yeah, we got the we got the pulse up in here. And that's what we'll call it <laughs> turd combined. <laughs> Dude, he is nice. Oh, I want to stick with him and the flame. Dude, that means that means that they, that guy was trying to save Beth and Beth and Hannah when that happened. He was trying to save them. Wait, also that means the crazy murderer that we keep seeing, like like the the phone call about like her mom being pregnant and like the newspaper articles of like the murderer who wants to kill like the family and like xing out the eyes of his like siblings and stuff that means that josh did all that so there was never a murderer after the black woods or whatever their name is he just made that up with the fake newspapers and stuff and like left fake clues everywhere because yeah why would they have that if that happened years ago why would that be like yeah, yeah, you scooby dude them. But th then there's monsters on that because we keep seeing the Wendigo sighting. So that dude is just up on the mountain being a good old boy, getting rid of the, the, the monsters, and we're just up here being dumb dumbs while Josh is having his shenanigans. Oh man, we got a flare. Are we going to use the flare already? 
We learned earlier in stream how to use flares. It's great. Unlike Matt, who just shoots them up into the sky and doesn't save them. Hopefully these buggers last a while. Calgary. Hey, Billy, I had a great time. Look me up if you're ever in Calgary, Loretta. Billy Bates Blasting Crew. Northwest Mines. Alberta. All right. <gasps> Farts. 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 Oh, boy. Oh, farts more of these oh no all right here we go oh farts dude we should have stayed with the with the flamethrower man i'm telling you that man has industrial strength flamethrower we should have stayed with him he was the person to stay with why we didn't stay with him man you probably knew the way out too. It gets frustrated. Okay, so we should not get frustrated with Josh, even though he's a potato turd. I'm gonna be honest. I think I would have slapped the sass off of Josh's face. I would have gave him a little, little I feel like those kind of people though is best to like walk away from the narcissist. You just gotta walk away. They're just gonna keep pulling out their their cards. Be like, what about this one? What about this one? Does this make you angry? What about this one? You wanna stoop to my level? What about this one? And you just gotta be like, no. You're crazy. Normal people don't act like that. What's wrong with you? Goodbye. Like, you don't get to win. Goodbye. Even though it's hard. It's hard. It's hard not to to lean into it. They just but like if you if you combat them, they just feel more and more righteous in their their turdness. Turd data. I trust the professional monster. Exactly. See, he he never seemed like he was doing anything. Also, like all of the like X X. Oh my god. All the like Xing out and die was just so dramatic. It it felt like a movie. It was very like dramatical movie esque. Another. Oh, this one's like a butterfly or maybe a damselfly. Dragonfly? Also looks like a spider. All bugs are kind of creepy. Even the pretty ones. That was unhelpful. What was I supposed to learn from that? What was I? Danger. Should I, should I put the torch out? Oh, it's, it, that, dude, that's gonna happen right here. What the fork, game? Okay. Okay. That's literally happening right now. Should we go back? Can we go back? Chat, that was the most use- Oh god! That was the most useless! That is definitely a windigo. Definitely a windigo. <gasps> left or right? Surface elevator to the left, it says. I'm gonna go left. Close the door, close the door, close. Okay, we can't close that door. I'm glad it has paws. Oh, tell me it works. Yeah, like what is that thing? It's like a little monster baby. Hannah, Hannah's come back from the dead to murder us. Oh, why did you chuck that? Oh, good one! Oh, it's fast, it's fast. Flamethrower man, where did you go? Flare, 
flare, flare, flare. Yeah! Jump! Whoa! Run! How did you know it went up? It could have went down! Also, where is that even gonna go? It's gonna go to a cliff! Leap off or stay on. Leap off or stay on. Leap off or stay on, chat. Leap off or stay on. Dude, those things always go to a pile. Stay on? I feel like it's it's gonna go nowhere. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Stay on? Stay on? Chad, do, do you agree? Okay. Oh, God. Chad. Chad! What are you? Oh, we almost went into the crusher! Chad! Maybe the monster will fall in the crusher. Oh! oh, we're bit, we're bit, we're bit, we're bit, we're bit, we're bit, we're bit. It bit us, it bit us. It bit us. Oh, we're dead. Someone's, we're gonna get shot in the head. Oh! Fuck! Oh! Dude, we're infected. We're infected for sure. Oh, she's infected 100%. I think we're infected. Do, do Wendigo bites? Is that how you, how you catch it? Or do you have to eat someone? In the lore of the Wendigo, it's a Native American um, story. It's caused by people eating other people. It's caused by uh, can cannibalism. Dude, it's her shoulder, though. I don't think you can. It's like in her, like, clavicle. She, so long as she doesn't eat someone, yeah. As long as, as long as she doesn't eat someone, is she fine? Crap. What now? I'm pretty sure you have to eat people. Okay. Let me in. Let me in. Let her in quick. Is that, it's Am. Shut the door! Oh my God! Shut the door! Are you all right? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. Are you okay? You look totally wise. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out Did you there. guys split up? A monster, it's a Wait. monster. Concern, Emma, are you okay? Wait, a monster? Yeah, what yeah, we're gonna ask. I said there's something out there. Ash, relax, it was Josh, it was all Josh. No, 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 listen to we me. We got him tied up, he can't hurt you. No, it was after me and it wasn't human. Hold on. Confused? Wait, what happened? Where is Matt? Yeah, what happened? I don't care em, about Matt. Can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it... It fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? <laughs> head, I found oh it. my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em. Oh, wait, it. so he didn't stay oh, with yeah, Wait, he didn't stay with Josh then. Matt? He We're left. Trying to figure that out. Yeah, Good. There, there was this monster that was chasing her. I, she's all messed up, guys. Emily. Clean the wound. Hey, Em. Whoa. Is it the, is it Flamethrower Man? Josh. Jess? Matt? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't Ma know. We please be, it maybe it's Flamethrower Guy. You should Stay answer back. it. Good. Go answer it. It's probably fine. Spoogies for chat. Mwah. Go answer it. He's nice. Jessica, tell him. <laughs> Jess, tell him. He's nice. Yeah, I mean, it's a friendly knock. Yeah. I'll cover the door. Give me the pistol. Uh, we'll just suggest. I don't like either of those. I'm open the door. You ready? You ready? Dude, just I feel like he's nice. Already. Whoever it is, is probably calm yeah. right now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no. Dude, where's no. Emily? Okay, so Emily, tell him there's a the nice door. man with a flamethrower. Can... Hurry up! Open the fucking door. Okay. Hurry up, Chris. <laughs> Oh. Uh, 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 hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> right, right. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, 
you know what's funny? This is so funny. I always think this. I'm like, have you if have you guys ever held like a Glock or a pistol or anything? Revolver doesn't matter. They're heavy. They're usually heavy because of like their metal, you know. And the lighter they are, the the more they kick. So because the the um. So the lighter your gun is, the more it kicks. So like, especially in a handgun, it being a bit heavier is like beneficial because then you don't have as much recoil, right? You know, if you're not super strong, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's impossible to aim more than once because it kicks back. So I've, I've shot a mini, um, like, so you imagine it has like this mini like blast, right? That happens, I've shot like a tiny revolver the size of like the palm of my hand that thing hurt like a motherfucking bitch because there's you can barely like grasp your hand around it like you know like one you would put in like your garter or something like those tiny ones i shot one that size hurt because the kick on it even though it's like a little 22 it's like psh, like snaps your wrist it hurts so anyway the same issue though if someone grabs you like while you're holding the pistol and just psh, like you could break someone's finger do, do you know do you know what i mean <laughs> so like if you're just holding a gun your fingers like in it, especially if you have it like in the trigger so it just goes psh, and like like your wrist isn't that strong the second it goes like a direction like outward or inward or a weird direction and you're not strong someone just like gimps your whole hand so like you could just slap a pistol out of a lot of people like if you're not like trained with like how to hold guns and you're just like hey man like that man just slapping it out of his hand and de-arming it was so possible you know take it easy grandpa okay everybody just calm <laughs> down nah, just oh, that dude's seeing some Go shit move. can we you close the I door okay i think they did i don't see it I'm open to tell you what emily say he's nice on this mountain you should never have returned I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, responsible. You hold on to your horses. <laughs> I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. Oh. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> and there you have it. The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Like Is Emily choice. not gonna say that she he I'm saved only her? I'm gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I love his act. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See, I told you, he's guilty as shit, guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these there it woods, is. the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. <gasps> Chat, I'm telling you, wasn't it only Beth's head and a cross and her clothes on a rock? Where is her body? Where was Beth's body? Yeah. Oh crap. That makes a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that see Mike? Mike's a believer I now. I need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys. I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Ah. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. Do I just no. leave the little I'm turd? Get him. No! There, Who I'm cares about him? And, and I let him down. No, what? he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't Why care. would you go I'm save him? Then. I'll go with you. Stop! I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. Bro! The rest of you. Everybody's like, what, you get know. Get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again. I don't know why they'd I'm save him. I wouldn't. Well, dude. If he's alive, get him in the morning. The magnitude of the situation. 
Chris I'm is a skeptic. Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. I like this guy. Dude, he's got quite the pack. I love him. Gives him a shotgun. Point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? <laughs> how do you know? Trust me, I know. <laughs> hey, come back safe. Oh, 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 oh! You need to hurry, son. I uh. See you soon. He's like youngsters in their PDA. <laughs> So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. I think this old man uh, is me, actually. I think. What, what's the guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Wait, we're going with him. All right. Can we load? Square so, reload? You better put a round in there. Shotgun before it's dead. It doesn't die. Well, you be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? Nope. No, and it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? Fire. They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Gross. <clears throat> Are we gonna go over here? <gasps> oh! oh, it was you! Scout! Are they just crazy unpredictable or... I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? I want to see if he's going to have anything to say about this. They adhere to some patterns. Like any animal. Or human. I was hoping that the... Like, the, like they've got schedules. The dude uh, would say something about that. Night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. <laughs> I like this old guy. The, uh... Feels real Montanan. Oh, tips... Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something. Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. Oh. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Mm. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. We didn't find that before. All right. Yes, Predator. Yeah, they got that kind of vision. All right, let's go get the turd butt. If these things, Wendigos, are or, or were human, do they, do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? Maybe they can be cured or... <laughs> they surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure. There's no redemption. I, I, I mean, if they're still human, I don't know if it's right to hurt them. Ah, I mean, wait till you see one. one. Face. It's them or you. you ah! He's gone. Well. I ain't too sad about that. Damn it, what happened? I'll think it's a mystery oh, weapon. We're too late. Quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. Uh, 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 uh. First, when you go, he'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then there's no way. He keeps there's you alive no and aware. And feast on your organs, one piece at a time. Emotional damage. Let's go now. It might still be near. Get going, Chris. Chris, get the fucking going, okay? Oh, 
run, 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 Can we get him not killed? Can he survive? I don't even know. I'm so sad. Maybe Gollum was a Wendigo. Did he eat people? Oh my god. Don't I? No, no. I. Somebody Google it. Can that? Can that? He be saved? Oh Chris. Oh Chris. Oh Chris. You're leading it back. Oh fuck. Oh man, how many shots? Oh, them panties though. Oh fuck! 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 No! Well. Oh man. No! I'm sorry, Chad. I tried to get the explosive. I thought I had time to get the explosive. I'm sorry. Fuck. No. This is a perfect run. No. I. Uh, Ash. No. Get away from the window. 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 Go downstairs now. Oh my god, get her away go. from that window. Let's, Let's get down to the basement. Hey, stay with me. Oh my god. Stay with me, Ash. Get her away from the window! Oh man. Where's Matt? He didn't. I'm so, I failed. I failed. Okay, everybody in the cage. Everybody in the cage. It's it's not good up there. What what, what do you mean? Mike, where is Chris? Oh no. Oh god, Ash. He didn't He was out there. Try to save I, Josh. I'm I know. So if sorry, I could have chose not to save Josh, I would have. The old guy. I'm not sign of him. I'm going to Google it. He's got to be dead too. Can oh Christ mountain man be all saved the doors? yeah until are you sure what are you looking uh, for another way out Mike look I really don't think that's a good idea we should stay put right here until dawn at least we're safe down here oh yeah all wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning people will come for us in the morning you don't sound so sure that is what'll happen right Em. Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. It says he I dies mean, regardless, Mike, chat. there's no key for the cable car. Yeah. Josh, damn. he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. Do not go out that there. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then we're shit out of luck. Yeah. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Meow. Huh. M? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from no. that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Mike? No. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my. Wait, wait, what is that? Sanatorium. I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You have been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. And then they ate God. each other. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but. I found this chair, dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, 
It's weird. Thanks. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wrapping it up real good for us. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium. See? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Huh? What is that? Ash. Um. Oh my god, oh my god, oh it's my nothing. god. nothing. Oh it no, just it, oh no, it bit it, me. It and... bit you? What bit you? The. The Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's. It's not that bad. She has to eat someone. If that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're No, gonna she has to eat oh someone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's resorting to cannibalism. That's the Wendigo. You know your cryptics, woman. What? Mike. You got to go. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I Emily, am. Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works Just like wait that. until Maybe she starts to bite. turn then. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? If she doesn't act weird, then whatever. I'm right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Stop. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know yeah. there's a woman to go out there ready to just break me tie to her pieces up or something. Like yeah. Oh my god, will you Wait till go? dawn, damn go it. Get out of here. <gasps> Ashley! Whoa, okay. Whoa! So like, Whoa. Calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? <gasps> we saw. We saw. We saw. We saw, we saw, we saw, we saw the premonition. We saw the premonition. You guys remember? Oh my God. This is the safe room, M. You just said you wanted to leave the safe room, Mike. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Stop pressing! Stop him! I'm really sorry. No! Oh, we can choose. Dude, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. She's hiding on the table. What the fuck is wrong with you, Mike? Oh my god. Oh my gosh! The other two just like cowered away. Maybe. For now. Shit. She's fine right now! Keep Look at this book! If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. I know! That's what I'm saying, Jor! Yeah. Tie her up or something, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. It's not safe out there. Bro, we called, Emily called for help. They said they would be there at dawn. Why is he leaving? Like, we, what are you going to do if you get the cable car? What are you going to, what are you going to do with if you get the cable car, bro? What are you going to do? Like, you're, you're going to get the cable car and then get attacked as well or fall down the mountain? Like, that's not going to change it. You still have to leave to go to the cable car. Mm -mm. She's like, y'all were gonna let him shoot me? I know zombie rules, but also like... Check his book, tie her up. Even a zombie you could tie up. Why we gotta auto-murder her? She's like, stay okay? away from me. There's still a camera pointing there. Go turn that off. <laughs> Mike's that girl. Uh, actually, you know what? Ashley's being a bitch. I thought that that he was gonna help us. Is a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this on our own. I don't know if I can. She's sitting next to the gun. It does look like zombies. Okay, okay, okay. It says. Only a few men have dared to hunt the wind this guy's go. A little OCD. I wanted to read it, Ashley. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I can't pause though. So only a few men have dared to hunt the wind to go. Oh, shards. Sorry, I can't. I'm trying to scroll down. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death. <laughs> 
and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism when a human is desperate and craves food trapped in the mountain in the fierce winter storms. When he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I've seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be sated and then the change begins the eyes turn first and become milky and white then the teeth become longer like fangs the creature grows and the skin is pulled taut uh, across the bones there was a tribe that lived in these mountains the Cree. the shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice a the lot tribe of history to this <laughs> the, the, um, the tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain. It would hunt elsewhere. In nine, or 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. Oh! radiation in there too they mined deep into the sacred mountain the Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released let's go to the other side really quick hopefully i don't time out okay this is, the journal is an account of the wendigo this creature is real and dangerous if you're reading this you will have questions but i do not have all the answers this is all evidence and stories of my own occurrence and local man found dead and they said liars livestock mutilated from the day of his death so you can see like that there's the drawings Okay, the next one. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It this is a hunter-like hawk. Are mutated from humans. When they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Um, the Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are able uh, to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will help keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from human and knows how to hunt us, it can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and uh, disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon fire envelops them burns away their skin and makes them weak but try not to kill them killing a wendigo should be the last resort death releases the wendigo spirit into the air i've contained them and i use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages traps are baited with human limbs from those who have no further use of them one by one i caught those who have infested the mount oh so he thinks there's like a maximum amount of them that can go out the wind there may be defenses shamans wrote of rituals i have found native uh, artifacts on the mountain and copied them totems bunches of herbs and feathers i copied their designs i have tasted them out on the w mountain they work they keep the wind to go at bay not entirely but enough but inside buildings they do not work Cree legend says the wendigo grows from the bite of another wendigo but the bite is harmless i've been bitten but i did not change the only way is to eat the flesh of another there is no other way see see if you just uh, read his book oh no 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 what? no no see Reassure, I am, you'll be okay, just crazy stuff in here. Dude, you see? What's she it saying? Oh, no, no, no. The bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Why were, was she saying no? Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine, Mike almost shot me. Is that he fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know. You what better was going be sorry. You're being kind of crazy. No excuse. There's no excuse Please, for Emily. This. 
Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> Ow! Okay, Emily's a bitch again. Never mind. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get the mic. Like, now. Hi, Mr. Wu. I mean, you'd be mad too, but like, did they just leave the gun? Did they just, did they just leave the gun? Oh, Joshua. So this whole time, the shrink was uh, Josh's imagination. Choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Peek-a-boo. What are you doing, poopers? Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? They hurt me? I didn't hurt anyone. Yeah! We have to choose his decisions. Yo, it would have been it would have been funny if like the whole time we said we hated ourselves the most. D they did it. They hurt me. Do it. R two. You guys say that. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid That's mistake true. and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. But he intentionally hurt all of them. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. It was just a game or they need to change. I don't think there's anything to change now. I think you need to change, Josh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you say L2? L2. Let's hope. It's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. Dude, he's a monster. Is in character for him? Yeah, that's true. Blaming everybody else but himself. Another audio anomaly. My jaw is killing me. Two more chapters left until dawn. Should we have locked that? Now we can't be followed though. And they left, so great. I wish we could save the chain, the, the, the stranger in the new game since they added new endings. That would have been nice. Okay, chat, I already know. I already know we have to save the dog here. Okay, we cannot fuck up. Not once. We cannot fuck up at all. That is the only way. I remember this because of the stress I felt. I remember. We cannot mess up because the dog will sacrifice itself to save us as like it's like a extra life yeah yeah it, it it will it will be extra life and it will sacrifice itself if we mess up once to save michael Um, he was trying to play it off earlier like it was a game, but I think the guy knows deep down that it's not just a game to him. He's trying to force them to become different people. Well, he wants them to feel the terror he feels and like the, the hardship he feels. So 
it's not a game to him. I, I think we've already looked at this, so it doesn't super matter, but... Uh, Miracle, man. Save scumming, it's this. I don't know if we can save scum. I guess we just have to hard, like, quit the game. And we might have to redo the chapter if uh, if that happens, I would say. I was always hated about these sort of stories is because everything seems slanted to work against you. That's true. I feel bad. It's a shame that like Mike didn't run into. Holy shit. Um. Huh. It's a sh like we never ran into like. What happened on the walls? Oh, oh no, it's a bad sign. Yeah, what happened to the wolves? That's not a good sign. No, I guess we'll just we'll just go. We'll just wing it. Can we get in there? Like we did. Surely. Yeah, where the wolves went, that's not good. Did the wolves become Wendigos? I had to figure out how to do it when I was playing through the quarry because there was no way I was gonna sit through the whole thing multiple times for different endings. Yo, you're big brain. No, it's okay, we'll we'll do it off rip. We have to we'll deal with our consequences of our choices. Dear Lord though. Everything's been updated. Wait, okay, yeah. Well, Josh made this to set up his psycho story. Wait, so the wanted... Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. <gasps> the newspaper is fake. Josh had it printed to set up the idea there was a psycho on the mountain. It was Josh's voice. There never was an escaped convict. Oh, for the... For the the cop that called another one of josh setups there was no psycho the light was from josh's lair in the cellar the strange man near the lodge was the flamethrower guy not squatters there must have been wendigo sightings the mysterious guy was collecting how many pigs died just so josh could punk his friends Put Josh put the axe here as part of his plan to freak out his friends. And that's why he had to die in the thing. A, a, a video camera hidden between some boxes. Josh had a plan to upload all this to the internet. Josh had the newspapers faked in to back up his psycho story. This is how Josh controlled the TV doors and lights to make it seem haunted. Josh needed the guts for his death machine to the, so he could commit to the realism. Josh had plenty of opportunity to take uh, these over the last year. And so that's how he was doing all that crap. Josh was going to upload it all to the internet, but that also means there's plenty of evidence for the cops. Josh was behind the whole ma ma macabre setup. We got a lot, her dying there. Him dying, I guess that just was meant to happen though danger found in the mine white butterflies brought dreams of luck i don't know what that means though i guess it's good luck if we don't shoot her green butterflies nightmare of hunger so i don't know something with fire butterfly effect thank you guys for watching the ad welcome back i was just going through all this sam needed to be rescued by mike oh because of that something else would happen then Psycho gave Ashley a black eye. Chris hissed Josh because of the black eye. Ashley saw the psycho. Chris scared Ashley with a dummy in Sam's clothes. Chris didn't shoot Ashley. Ashley was concerned about Chris. Chris died though. One's bitten. Emily was bitten. Mike spared Emily. Ashley was faced with the dilemma and told the truth. Josh was not remorseful about his actions. Oh shit. And then we've got... Billy was part of the crew that blasted new tunnels in the mines. The opening section of the flamethrower guy's journal. Okay. That might get updated. Yeah, a section of the journal about how the cannibalism is, causes it. Journal detailing the history of the mountain. 
section of the journal about how to fight and trap Wendigos. Section of the journal about the Wendigo bite. Cards have been removed and locked away in a safe in the sanatorium. So there is to like hide the truth. Yeah. And a photo of the group of the miners taken at the mines, uh, blasting new tunnels. For what I wonder. Then we, we, uh, yeah. So Josh learned about special effects from his dad's movie experience. Same locket that was found in the mine is featured on the photo. We found Hannah's broken glasses in the mine. Hannah's tarnished locket is a portrait of the Washington family. It can't have fallen there. Someone must have moved it further into the mine. A simple wooden cross with Beth's name scratched on it. Um, the photo was taken the same day as Hannah getting her tattoo. And uh, the remains of Beth Washington's head resting, oh, resting on her jacket in the mine. There's no sign of the body, I knew it! Hannah's glasses were found in the mine. All right, that's how we're there. <sighs> Josh needs a hobby, ain't that right? Okay, he mentioned it's strange the dogs are gone. How do we get in there? Cause it like, you can see there's something in there. Does that, uh, can we get in there? You know what I mean? It looks like a torch. That we can light, maybe. Hi, Sissy Poo! Linker poop poop poops. I've already looked at this before. Which was where all the Wendigo information was found the first time we were here. There's a giant gate right there, but it, you can't interact with it. That's that's why I was walking. It doesn't do anything. There's no interaction with it. It's locked. This is where we got the gun from that we don't have. Sounds like a him problem. True. Sorry, I'm just looking around. I'm sad about- oh, he has a new cigar. He had gotten new- new ones. Or was there always a new one? I, that might be the same. I think the burnt one was from before. I don't know. Yeah, where did they went? How many are there? Where did it when to go, like you said? Dude, I'm so anxious to like accidentally like progress. Time to celebrate. I want to like at least explore a little bit. Should we be opening these? Like, are these supposed to be where all the Wendigo are like trapped? I don't know. I think he trapped them in the mines though. That would like make more sense. Okay, that door is locked. And then we can, I guess, go upstairs? I don't I think it was a dead end before. Trapped si yeah, he said he trapped six of them. But are they just trapped in the mines? Did we, like, let them go? Like, are they in cages? Or are they actually just roaming? Like, you know? You know, you think instead of before he ran all the way here, it would have been nice if he would have maybe, you know, like, read the book that the guy left. Oh, we can jump down here. Nice. Okay, this seems like maybe it's important then since it was such a hassle to get to. Yeah, okay. Wait, there's another gun too? Oh my God, yeah. There's shotgun shells. There's a torch, I just which- I need a pitchfork and a mob. Can we take the gun as well? It's a, it's a small shotgun. Are you gonna take the gun, bro? Oh yeah, take it. As many as your pockets can fit. That was not enough of them. Uh, no reading Mike's a man of action. <laughs> can we take extra bullets? No. I'd find a way to like 
sling that shit on my back or something. I don't know. Fill all the crevices of my pants with those things. Unironically sick. They do look... I bet they kick like a bugger, though. I can't say I've shot one, so I don't know. Okay. All right. Now I feel content that we explored. All right. Time to leave. Drop a log in my pants on the way out. It's fine. I think that's the way of progression. Let's check over here really quick. I think we found this before, right? Maybe not. Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, there we go. That's so creepy. I don't even know who that was supposed to be. Was that Matt? I don't know, bro. Not looking forward to that. Who wants to bet this relieves directly to the mines? Also, why is there holes everywhere? Was there this many holes in this place before? What happened? You know what I mean? Like, did this place fucking explode? I don't know. I guess he had the oh door open. <gasps> oh, Adam White, Evelyn Daniels, Charles Miller. All in 1952, though. You think that was the Wendigo? Yeah, like where the dogs go. Rem like where are all the wolves? What they get? Remind me why we are here again. Yeah, bro. Honestly, I wonder what his connection is to the mountain. Why he chooses to keep him at bay. I'm very curious. Why I didn't even see it? I just knew, saw there was something to interact with. I don't like that sound. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna it's gonna attack a deer or an elk or something. A Patronus, it does it does like it seem like a Patronus. Is that are we going this way? Okay, no. Where are we going? Where Where am I going? I thought this was the how we leave. Is it? Wait a minute. Is this not, is this a dead end? Is this just like extra content over here? I'm... Wait a minute. I thought this was like the exit. I'm, I'm like genuinely. Is this just a side route? Wait a minute. Do we get to go this way? Wait a minute, I'm lost. I guess good thing we went that way. Right. <clears throat> Are we gonna shoot it again? Bro, this man and shooting walls. <laughs> Shame we don't have the key so not to waste bullets. Go like refill, bro. This game makes me feel like I need to poop my pants. <gasps> Poopa! Hey, Our boy! Hi. Hi. Happy to see you again, huh? Hey. Give him pets! Oh, best uh, boy. Good boy. You want to come, come home with pal. us? Come with me. All right. Oh, dear God. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place. So, we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, I'm so scared. Ah, <laughs> boy. I'm so scared. I don't want to lose the poop. I will literally, physically, oh, cry and shit myself all at the same time. He's our boy. Oh, look at how it's all like caged up like this. Danger, keep out. I guess is it is it so we can like get around without the Wendigo? Because they don't like sunlight, right? It only comes out at night. <laughs> Fuck, he's telling us something. What is it, boy? <laughs> he 
He knows. Doki boy, calm down. Good boy. Dude, he's telling you. He's telling you. Wish I could move like you, Wolfie. I'm st right. Dude, oh, this this looks like where we he trapped them. Are we opening the fucking cages? Awesome. Oh my god. Hey, he could fit. Come on, he could totally fit through where the dog went. Bet. You could crawl through that. If the do if the poopa can fit, you can fit. See that? It's a big dog. I do got moves. Don't I, Wolfie? Dude, this would be so boring and scary without our doggo. Okay, where are we going, buddy? Oh. I don't like the way he's whining. He's telling us something. What is it, buddy? He went to the right. Hey, boy, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. Toilet. Dude, dog's crying. My mommy instincts just... Huh. Report, physician, Cathar, initial report. The patients were first admitted to Blackwood's medical facility five days ago. During that time, we had run a number of tests, both psychological or er, physiological, physiological and psychological. The results have been extraordinary in con contravention of common medical expectations. Symptoms observed, pallor skin, or er, is that supposed to say paler? Pale, pallor? Skin dis dye yeah dispigmentation severe vitamin D deficiency so so dysfunction longer than average re, re adapt, adapt, adaptation period post traumatic event interpersonal behavior erratic violence towards orderlies uh, three attempted assaults one attempted scratching um of uh, symptoms expected but not observed malnutrition and scurvy. Quiet, quiet, quit, let index was only within 3% of the normal expectations. They should be dead. Yo, the merchandise. Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you for the love. Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Kitten, hello, crazy. Hello, hi, hi. You're describing a Twitch chat. Woohoo. We're all vitamin D deficient up in here. Hello, welcome everyone. If you guys are new here, I'm Mizuki, the 3D VTuber in a Unity game. Hi, Linker Poo. We're traversing the game with our wolf companion and my poopa companion. There's Linker Poo. He says hello. <laughs> He's here to jump scare us. Hi. Crazy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the poopa squad. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello, welcome! We're near the end of Until Dawn. I've already got some people murdered, so that's great. Um, I suck. Hi, Zorba! Hello, princess puppy. Hello, you be good. You be good. Go to daddy. No, go to daddy. Good girl. Good boy, Linker Poo. <laughs> it was good. We did Splatoon. Splatoon starts to... Ooh! all the spookies yeah today we're we're playing through we're doing all the scary games i got my um if you check uh my schedule i got all until halloween scheduled for spooky games which i'm excited about we're having lots of fun also if you gotta go d stream and everything i totally get it please go get your rest and your foods and everything but yeah okay it says frostbite patient stimulus responds within acceptable bounds on reverse fra frailty weakness uh distension of tibia fibia and humerus average um observed unusual growth in strength one patient lifted 725 pounds um suggested action place under strict observation restraint strongly recommend change from one orderly to three 24 hour observation mm. Wait, did we need to flip it? Sometimes there's stuff to, on the other side. The dog is whimpering in the background and it's freaking me out. Oh, okay. Dude, Poopa's crying just immediately sets my mommy instincts off. I have no instinctual toilet uh, for ch like children, motherly instincts, but for animals, I'm like, oh, fuck. His friend! That's 
That's why he was crying! Oh no! What the fuck happened? Aww. Buddy! I'm sorry! It's his friend! Oh, he's showing us. He was showing us that, like, something's not good. Oh! <gasps> Oh, one of them escaped. How crazy were these inmates? Dude, one of the Wendigo that was trapped in here escaped. Let us out. What we are starving. Here? Freezing. I will make you pay. Stop nice. testing us now. Wait, are these like recent Wendigo that we left here? Because he said he, he had them in the mines, though. This is... I don't know. That's scary. It must have recently happened. We saw this black wolf. Fuck, man. This is truly disgusting. This must have just happened. Uh, Mr. Wolf friend, where did you go? Buddy? I have no int- I have no instinctual toilet! Oh no. Dude, we can't let the dog die. We have to get the dog ending. I'm literally rage quitting if we if we, it dies. Wolfie, what do you smell? What's going on, buddy? I think the wolf's that way. I don't know which way we're supposed to go. I want to find all the secrets, you know, but I'm also nervous. <gasps> What's this? I missed that other one that we saw. Oh no. Is this gonna make noise though? He just ripped the restraints off or what? Oh. Oh. He crawled away. Did you get an eater? What the fuck is going on around here? Nice. If you, I know. I know it's gonna be bad. <laughs> Quick time events. I'm hoping that like since we have the gun and we have the f the f like the light, it'll be helpful. Dude, are we not supposed to look at any of this? I'm scared. Blackwood Sanatorium, confidential. Epiderm uh, epidermal dispigmentation expected after time underground. Severe cultivation of thoracic region post traumatic. Uh, Kyphosis, corneal dystrophy, and clouding. Acu acuity 20 out of 160, day four. Oh, chronic kyphosis, scarring alopecia, mood. Extreme nasal septum perform uh, perforation, ectodermal dysplasia, pointing of teeth. Telogen alluvium, not so alopecia. Maxillary canine length, consistent with corneal o oedema with acuity. Acuity, so his eyes are going down. Epidermal toughening. Scary. Okay, great. Love it here. Oh God. <gasps> Fuck. This, like, seems like it's one that, like, even the other dude didn't know was in here. This is, I don't think this is the one that old boy is. I don't want to, I just want to look. I don't want to, like, <gasps> no. 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 No, I can't back out! Chat. Chat, I fucked up. I fucked up. No, 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 no. No, like, miss. <laughs> Fuck. Oh fuck! Holy Mike, shit. what are you doing? Who 
Who it's, is this guy? Dude, it could be alive still. Stop. Dude, the dog's just growling in the corner. Oh, no. He was locked in here because he was infected, right? Sorry, Arthur. Is he fine? To whom it may concern. They are dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. The hell is my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. No escaping my fate. Death, await death awaits me now. Jefferson Bird. God, if he moves, I swear to God. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Please let us leave. Please let us leave. Please let us leave. Oh, Lord. I'm getting out of here. I should not have explored. I'm a chicken and out. To my popo. Dude, I wish we could save so that I was like had a save station, but I also I'm not gonna save scum. I'll just do my best. This is the only part of the game. Everybody else don't care. I only care about this moment right here with these doggos. Or with this dog. Alright. Ah! Buddy. Buddy, please. Please, please, please survive. Please survive. Please survive. Please survive. Please survive. <laughs> Head started on other games. Just rage quit. He's not going in there. That's a, that's a sign. No. No. It's a rat. No. That one's a freshie. Run! Go, boy! Chat? Left or ahead? Is there any signs of where we should go? Ahead or left? Ahead, ahead or left? Ahead or left? Chat. Somebody tell me what to do. Don't be wrong. Ahead. Left looks like a cage. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a dead end. Where's the dog? 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 <laughs> I don't know if that's helpful, but... Where's our dog? Where's our dog? Where's our dog? Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. This is happening. Do we go the wrong way? Chat, we went the wrong way. We have to go back out. Ah! Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? I only care about the dog. 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 Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Okay, I'm fine. Go! Close the door or something, I don't know! Oh, 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 I remember. Push it over, push it over! I remember that! Stop, stop, leave. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back! I would have shot in the face. That's not where I would have hit, but where's the dog? I, that's all I care about. <gasps> oh, my boy. My boy, my boy, my booga boy. You give him head pads. Yeah, you tell him you give him head pads. Shadow Hunt. <laughs> Don't move. I think not moving is the best solution, unless he goes for our dog. Oh 
no, oh no. Go, 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 follow the dog, follow the dog, follow the dog, follow the dog. Follow the dog. Go! Be quick about it! Son of a bitch. Follow the dog. Where are you? Huh? Mike, you got this. You will save the dog. It's okay. What? It's a great dog. Go. I'm getting through this. Right now. Something's gonna happen. Right? This is the game. Fine. Don't. No. No, 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 no. You made a lot of noise for no reason. Stay away. This is the cages. This is the cages. Keep going. They can't get out. Keep going. Time, Keep going. Boys. Follow the dog. Follow the dog. Enough for me for all you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I don't need to shoot it. It's a waste. Don't shoot. Keep going. I don't want to waste bullets. I don't know if we have. These are. Well, I believe they're locked in here. Keep going. Follow, follow the dog. That one doesn't need to be shot. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There's six. Doesn't need to be shot. I'm really concerned that if we shoot, we will summon more. Keep going. Follow the dog. Okay, this one is a problem. Keep going. We will protect you here. We, we cannot miss. My dog, my dog, my dog, my dog, my dog, my dog, my dog. Push it! Push it! We're fine. I think us and oh, the dog shit. are fine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh, we killed one. We killed one of the spirits. We killed one of the spirits. We killed. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? We killed one of the Wendigo spirits. That might have been a problem. We weren't supposed to kill him, but I don't know how else we were going to get out of that. Where's the dog? I don't know where the dog went. He didn't sacrifice himself though. I had to replay the first, like, first time I played this because I didn't want it. So the dog, if you mess one of your quick time events up, the dog will sacrifice itself and save you. And I distinctly remember that. I was like, uh, fuck that, no. I think it's in the mines though. I think you still have to not fuck up. Let's just pray he's fine. What the fuck was that? So loud. Please, please tell me the doggy is okay. That's all I want. I just want the doggy to be okay. Hopefully somebody doesn't turn into a Wendigo because I did, I did release the spirit. Something's walking behind us. Oh God. Just keep going. I'm not, I should be searching for other stuff, but I'm not, I'm just going. Fuck. I missed in real life, but it counted, so whatever. Lock it, lock it, lock it. Can we lock it? I don't think we can lock it. 
barricade. Oh, wait, no, barricade. I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. Barricade it. I rem yes, I remember that. It was like he suggested that. Go, 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 go. Pray for the dog, chat. Everybody, hey, prayers in the. <gasps> Come, Come on. on down. It's all right. Come on. You can do it. Okie dokie, bud. Yeah, I'll catch oh. you on the flip side, huh? <gasps> you might kept the wolf alive throughout the sanatorium. Oh! I did it! I, I, okay. We got it! We got it! We got it! We saved the buddy. We saved the wolf. That's all that I care about. I think he'll show up again. <sighs> didn't hurt the dog i'm gonna consider we killed the wendigo though that means the spirits are gone i don't know if that was the right decision fuck the wind. mike successfully escaped the sanatorium in chapter nine i don't know okay we killed two wendigo but yeah, I don't know. Wouldn't it still keep chasing us? I mean... Wait! Is she alive? Oh, shit. Yeah. But the Wendigo spirit will possess you while you're starving and encourage you to do it and then consume you. Probably couldn't trap them, yeah. Now they're, Now somebody else might do it. Oh, fuck. She's alive! She found a jacket. Good for you, girlfriend. Good for you. <laughs> Let's go, girlfriend. You did it. Yeah. Okay, so it says that they are in... The, so the dog, I was gonna see Wolfie. If you make it, he may protect you and help you navigate through the facility. And if you do all the right things, then you find him again in chapter nine. And then Wolfie doesn't appear again until Mike returns to the sanatorium. Choice to barricade the door escape. Mike will drop down a hole and Wolfie will look down at him. If Mike barricaded the door, Wolfie will be safe. But no matter what you choose, Wolfie will not follow him down the hole. Okay. Supposed to roll the explosion barrels of the two Wendigos between them. If he misses the cue, the uh, roll a barrel, he will uh, he, and has to choose a Wendigo to shoot. Wolfie will distract the other one and get killed by them. If Mike fails to hide from the Wendigo lurking in the sanatorium that he is supposed to sneak around, Wolfie is killed trying to defend him. If Mike doesn't barricade the door while running away from the Wendigo, Wolfie will die trying to defend him against the monsters. If Mike blows up the sanatorium, Bill will chase Billy will chase him down the mines and attack him. Sam will notice this and run up to Billy despite decapitate him, killing him and avenging Wolfie's possible death. Well, after the sanatorium is blown up, Wolfie will not be seen again, but the trophy of the skillful wolfman and the butterfly effect will uh, say. So I guess that's the last time we see him, but dude, it's so- I told you! I told you! I told you it was hard to keep him alive! I- I- like, so we did it! I chose the right thing every time! I feel- I feel proud. I need- I need a Snickers after all that. Nerva, do you have candy down here? Do you have a- do you have a white chocolate in here? I need I need blood sugar after all that. That was that was that was stressful. I am traumatized. All right, I'm traumatized by that. What? He is working to keep you all. I know he's a good boy. I love my doggies. I'm gonna be a crazy dog mama someday. I already am. Man's best friend. 
I love dogs. There's one. There's a husky, a, f a female brown husky at the, um, at the heart of the valley rescue where I got linker food right now. That's a year old and I saw it the other day and I was like, <gasps> heart melting. Where is our crew? They went way ahead of us. Oh, it's right there. <sighs> Y'all better be quiet, oh, AF. Shit. Mike must have locked it behind him. Crap. There's got to be another way in. Could I have not locked it? You know? Oh, Wait. no. Hey, what about this? No. <sighs> Bro, I mean, should should we try it? Hi, oh, it's hello. Not like we got a whole lot of choices here. No, no. Dude, we should not. We should not go back. We should not go back. Okay. Dude, actually over here with the muscle. Emily doing nothing as always. Okay, this what a surprise. is the last place I would want to be right now. So who's going first? <laughs> After you. Look at this one at the heart of the valley. I'm showing nervous. That's not so the bad. Right now. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is. Where else would it go? It's a female. Isn't she cute? But we have a Zozo. It's the same shelter I got linked from. That's why we I always look there. We only have six dogs right now. They adopt them out quickly. I'm so glad I don't have hey, PT um, tomorrow. Hey, we should close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it. But we gotta keep moving. Can you just... Catch up, please. What? Yeah. Does it matter if you catch up? Bro. I don't know, man. I feel like it's weird that they're just yeeting without her. Like, yo, catch up later, bitch. Like, that's weird. Also, the Wendigo was down here, so now we're going to be trapped. But that's fine. Dude, how are they that fast? They could have just waited two seconds. <sighs> How is everybody doing though? How are you guys? Hope you guys are having a good week. Do you guys have any fun plans for Halloween? This weekend coming up? I so there's a game that I I, I we all should play. You guys, I will I'll have to post a link and stuff. Wait. Hello? Who's there? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? Dude, they went on. I guess it's good. Dude, rejoin the group or investigate. Chat, would you like us to go save Jessica? Dude, I feel like the 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 group left us like little bitches. All right, like, why are we even chasing after him? Uh, hell no. Wait, hell no. What? We're not saving Jessica. They mimic. Do they? But we just saw like half naked Jessica woke up though. You think we should leave Jessica? She's she's fine. Follow the group. Chat chooses. Always save scantily clad women. Jess isn't a bitch crying for help. The I mean she might be. She's like half naked and fell down a hole. All right, chat. Left or right? Through Jessica's voice or back to the group who ditched us? Which I'm not a fan of either. Why are we... We've all been there before. <laughs> what? Why are we chasing after Mike again? I don't even remember. Like, we found something out. Like, or whatever. I don't know. I don't even remember why we're chasing after him. To begin with. 
like saw something in the book and decided to follow him. Chat left or right? Mike has the car. The has the car keys. Well, he's supposed to be looking for them. I don't think he's gotten them yet. And then we went chasing after him because we read something in the book. Which way? Chat. Investigate the voice or rejoin the group. Oh God. Choose. Oh, I was just making that up. I didn't know he was looking for them. Uh, left. Uh, Jorm says left. You got outvoted, Angel. <laughs> crazy. Jessica. Ugh. Jessica, is that you? I'm not a fan of like the fact that like Sam and Emily like left though. I feel like that's like super lame. What is? Although you did, they did say they mimicked. You are right. Oh God. Oh no 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 no. What's over here? Trap door. Let's let's grab this really quick. Totem. So bad at getting this. Yeah, whatever happened to Matt? He's been gone for a while. Um, what do we got for collectibles here? Dude, we we did we cleaned house. We cleaned house today. I think we just got the dog one. At what price? Dog f uh, freed himself. Oh, Mike freed himself from the bear trap. Mike no longer has use of a machete. Mike found another way through the sanatorium. <gasps> Wait, was a machete used there? If we had it? Man's best friend. Mike's new friend survived. Oh, thank God. I would have cried. I would have literally rage quit this game. Where? Which totem's new? I want to click on it so it goes away. There we go. My OCD compels me, please and thank you. Oh, down there. Okay. And then more 1952 stuff. Dr. Bowen was killed the same day as those buried in the makeshift graveyard. Oh. This looks like a chair used in the old film showing a miner turning into the Wendigo. It looks like a partially transformed Wendigo. Another the death that occurred on the 24th of 1952. There must have been a massacre that day. The Wendigos in the sanatorium must have killed all these people. Um, Bones knows several serious injuries. Okay, that's what we read. We, we got everything but one thing. It looks like the restrained miner was turned into the Wendigo. The Wendigo must have overrun the sanatorium. Bragg's body was never found. The, this was one of the Wendigos caged up in the sanatorium. We've been cleaning house with all the stuff. Okay, here we go. Ashley is going to die now. Oh, God. Did you see about the dog that ate Orbeez? No. Is that actually her? Can we just like not? Can we just peek through? Can we just peek through? You guys think it's I think it's her. I think it's her. Fuck. They do mimic. I guess we didn't know that's where we were being called from, right? Damn, that's brutal. Well, shit, that she was who I got killed, I think, last time I played. I think I, I saved everyone but her. It was either her or Matt I lost. I I think in my original playthrough, when I the, the completion, I... Then what? I don't want to say I told you so. Bro! Ashley or Chris opened the door. <gasps> Open the trap door. Oh no. Oh no. So Chris could have done it though. Are you doing your scratch scratch ritual? 
scratch, scratch the floor? You scratch, scratch the floor? Dude, our friend's never gonna be like, hey, where did our friend go? <laughs> They're just gonna continue. Could we have met up then? Dude, I fell for it. I think I fell for it when I was like 16 playing the. Oh my god! Oh, it's Josh! Yeah, true. Oh, great. Oh, Dude, it's super tricksy though, because right before that, we saw a cutscene of of <laughs> her. So. No, 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 I think I can. I think I can do it. It's like a rock wall. Dude, we already saw Emily parkour. The same, same, right? I'm gonna keep going. Are you serious? <sighs> Get back to the lodge. Uh, shouldn't we stick what? together? What? Why is yeah. everybody splitting up? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to get Mike with you or without you. Just what? make it back. Everybody's okay? making terrible decisions, including myself. Okay, leaping. Whee! <sighs> At least Emily. That's true. Everybody <sighs> wants. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I was reading chat. That's fine. Yeah, we love Emily. She's our favorite character of all time, right? Dude, Chris and Chris and Ashley were like the cuties, though. Why can't, like, Ugh. Emily and Josh be the ones who... Oh, I clicked the wrong button again! God, good thing I did better during the dog event. My bad. We're doing it again, I don't care. Dude, if she's the only one surviving, I'm... toast. That does not look... Come on, girl, you could do it. Uh, I don't know what happened to Matt. We haven't seen him in ages, so maybe? We don't know what happened to him. We think he's still alive. He uh, jumped to safety. You. I fucking beat you. Who did you beat? Toto. Man. Dude, you know what? In a few months, maybe we will do another playthrough for funsies. If you guys really liked it. Because I love this game, but... There's us dying. Yeah, should we try to go for all the different playthroughs? All 200 and X amount of them? 256 plus? Ooh. That's a jump down. Don't want to do that. Every single ending. Should, I'm, like, scared to even, like, investigate stuff now. Huh. Okay, then... Ugh, me casually squinting. I don't want to jump down there. That looks like death. Let's see what's up here. Might be more death, but... I'm feeling more confident in this general direction, you know? Ah, sharts. No going back. I still think we made the decision just now. All right, quick time events, maybe. Ooh, left or forward. I think we're supposed to go left. Chris is dead. We killed him before we killed Ashley, luckily. So, okay. Well, maybe this was the right direction. We got a weapon. I don't know, she peeked through there like that was where she wanted to go, so that's what led me to go this way. I, there definitely was three choices. I've never heard of this game. What? Uh, it's, a, it's a classic. It was a PlayStation original though, to be fair. In the original one. Um, 
I played the original one, obviously. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit! Oh, good thing we picked that up. I can't... Oh, my God. Good thing we picked that up and went this direction. We could have went down the caves more or up more. Oh, another one. We've killed three. Alive for a start. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. We barely made it this direction. There was two other ways to go. I think I got it. Down and up. Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. Okay. My God. Oh boy. Oh, I don't want to play as this shitter. Tell me I'm not playing as Josh. Oh my god. But I hate him! I hate him so much. I wonder how much these sessions are of any help to you now. Just won't listen to me and think seems pretty. Fucked up. <laughs> so I I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of that can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self indulgent, spoiled little brat. No, he is a spoiled brat. Cared about you. We're willing to help. But every turn you choose to push them away. Now you're all alone. His voice actor is so good. You won't be alone for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Ooh. Deep breaths, Josh. Deep breath. We uh, we got Chris killed on the way back from trying to find Josh with the other dude. I missed while aiming for the barrel. No. <laughs> Is his sister gonna eat him and for, with poetic justice? Get away! Get away! Get away from me! Oh, he's going crazy. No, you're dead! You're dead! Shut up! He kind of deserves it, though. You're dead! Uh-oh. Oh, they're guns. Yeah. They're in the middle of it. That's right. Take me from me, you kid. You can't tell me what to do. I think Mike and Sam are here. You can't tell me what to do anymore. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Or he's just going crazy. I trust you. I Who is, trust you. Who do you trust? I trust you. Why oh, is going crazy? Oh, he was just hearing shit. Oh my god. His his actor really does look bananas though, doesn't it? There's an ad get a play we'll pause the game when that happens. Bruh. There's a lot of animal bones down here. I mean surely they eat the wild animals too, right? I think that's the way out. What's over here? <laughs> You're not real. You're all alone down there. No, no. No, 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 not again. Can we not go this way? All the blood. Oh, You're with us now. Family. Get away from me! Get away! Why didn't you save us, Josh? Why did you want us I to, didn't die? Want you to die? <laughs> I swear. I swear I tried to find you. I still want to go this way.
from you. There you go. Oh my god. Ah, oh, dear lord. Dude. At what price, dude? Sam rescued Mike in the mine. So would we? What would have happened? I wonder. I wonder what would have happened if we chose the wrong direction and didn't get the pipe with Sam. You know. <sighs> really makes you think. Yeah. Oh my god. We found most of them. Ooh, events of the past. Let's watch that. Many years ago, my grandfather hunted those possessed by the curse. But there was one that eluded him. The fiercest of all, the Makapiti. Ooh. It was a terrible thing, and my grandfather could not defeat it. Sometime after, the prospectors came to ah. this mountain. Until a cave-in trapped the men and woke the curse again. There were dozens of men, no food, no light. And in that blackness, the moons and many hunts, the Makapichu still roamed my grasp beyond my reach. Until one night, a year ago, I was finally able to get him in my sight. But we were not alone in the woods that night. I couldn't see your friends. Yo, that's crazy, yeah. Dude, so so he he had him cornered the final one that maybe and then it still got loose. Maybe he had almost all of them trapped. Cuz like is there there's only like a finite amount of them on the mountain? That's crazy, though. I like that there's so many... I think what's interesting about this is that there's so many stories, like, going on at the same time and everything with this game, which is, um, like, which is pretty crazy, you know? So, I'm, I'm like, it, I, it, it's really interesting, like, to have the mystery man, so, you know, and then the incident from before, and then the twins, and then what else is going on, you know? This game must have had it is it must have been because like what especially for its time is like telltale games and everything have like all their endings and stuff and this was before um what's the thank you guys for watching the ad thank you thank you um it, what is it the what's the one that is like everybody's robots and it has a bunch of different choices matter ending and everything you know um that one so like the when this came out it was before that and um Detroit become human. Yes, that one. And so like until dawn endings. So there's like more than like two. Yeah, there's 256 endings based on all the choices you make, like combinations from all the choices you make and things you find and whatever. And then also, I think with the new update you know, and everything, like, the, the redo of the game. I think there might be slightly more than that. So, definitely, like, it was, like, one where the game did feel impactful. Like, your choices did matter because, like, you, you like, you know, you definitely caused actual things to change throughout the game, which changed the whole entire rest of the game. So, like, every branch changed more and more dialogue or more and more things, which is pretty crazy. All right. Oh! God, those blue eyes too with no white. His mind Why is paying him back. This? Why didn't you save us, Josh? Why did you want you're us to dead. die? Does he really feel like it's his fault? That seems wild. I think he's seeing a real Wendigo. Ugh. He's going crazy down there. Having a good I old was time. Not prepared for how ugly that thing would be up close. Yeah. So, I noticed something kind of weird about it. Uh, 
Oh god, was it Hannah? No one to go. It had a scar. So? I've seen it before. What are you talking about? I saw these old pictures of some guys with that scar, and he was transforming into a Wendigo. The miner. I'm kidding. It was one of the miners who'd been trapped back in the 50s in the cave-in, which means that thing is 80 years old. At least. Spunky for an old-timer. <laughs> they cleaned the place out. Killed a lot of people. They? You mean there are more of them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many? Too many. More than six. I think we're close to the lair. How can you tell? I don't know. I just feel really terrible all of a sudden. Did I? I um, really don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. The way through. No. 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 I don't want to okay. go through the water. Is that what I think it is? Shit. Looks like a grave. The best. Because Beth died, and we, I said, where's her body? <gasps> oh, fuck. Her body's right here, but it was dug up. Well. Oh, God. My kid. This is Beth. This is her watch. What? Let me see. Look. Next squirrel. There was a cross here. So this is where she was buried. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who dug her up? Let's keep moving. Because we saw Beth hit her head in the or like OG scene, but we didn't see what happened to Hannah. She just fell down. Fine. I'm going in. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank you for the love. Also, uh, everybody yeah. who subs, I should get uh, Discord uh, Nitro. I keep forgetting to bring that up. Thank you, guys. That's words. <gasps> Thank you for the cheer, three hundred to serve you. Thank you for all the support, guys. Oh God, you guys know my weakness is water scenes. Nobody likes cold butts. Cold butts. Although yours are great. Although yours are great. Just never mind. Wait, Sam, Sam and Mike. Oh my God. I thought you. Part. Are we gonna go over there? Are we going left? Or... Wait, chat. What do you think? Right or left? 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 <laughs> Dude, I'm getting jump scared at the jump scare. Bonk though. Thank you for the love. No hype trains. No more scares. Chat. Should we go to the left or the right? To the should it? I don't know. Baby, I feel like he's going the correct way. Uh. Like, what's over here? When in doubt, right? Oh no, right is wrong. Ah, who cares which direction the dog is safe? You're right, we save the dog. If everybody dies besides the dog, it's fine. Okay. Oh, shit. This looks like Hannah's right. My little sister is dead. The fall killed her. I watched the color drain from her face. My leg is broken. I'm all alone, stuck here with best body. Somebody will come soon. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Beth. I have no choice. Ah! It's the only way I can survive anymore. If someone finds this, I'm sorry. I had to. I had no choice. What's her name? You know what Jesus. it means. You know what it means. Never been so hungry. It feels like my stomach is twisting around inside. I took Beth's sweater. Much warmer now. She's still looking out for me. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I, I was weirded out, like, why didn't she use her clothes to stay warm? That's because she didn't have warm clothes. My hands feel unclean, my nails fell out, pushed out. I'm aching, but no more cold, no pain. I'm getting stronger. Further writing devolves into scrolls, hungry. Dug up Beth. It was Hannah. No, that's my goodness. ridiculous. My Dog is in control room, be. orchestrating the jump scares. Yep. Thing that makes sense. Yep. Beth died in the fall. So what? What does that mean? So Hannah must have buried her. God damn it. 
God. How else would she would have got buried? Down here. I don't believe any of this. She would have been starving. She would have been desperate. Fuck. Who Dude, I don't Josh? think it's that crazy. Right now. Dude, I don't think it's that crazy to think that she would have ate her for emergency food. I'm sorry. I'm pulling a Paimon, okay? I don't think it's that crazy. Oh, yeah, there's, like, a bedding and stuff. There's mattresses. I mean, the miners had stuff down here. She said her leg was broken. <sighs> okay, back into the water. Ugh. Little Silent Hill humor. Yeah, the dog comes out. All right, back to the water. Oh, I hate water scenes. They're my least favorite. Ugh. <sighs> God damn it. Ugh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here, Mike. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Zoom. You know when you're trying to fast walk through water? Ooh. Why am I getting so anxious? I'm nervous. I sense bad things. Oh, oh, it's yeah. oh, don't say that. Don't oh. say that. Don't say that. Don't okay. say that. Get out okay. of the water. Okay. Get out of the water. Oh. At least oh. it looks kind of blue. Oh my god. Hey, How many are alive? Game. Well, I've 100% killed Ashley and I've killed uh, Chris. So, uh, not a lot. Don't not a. It. Move, move, move. Let's get out. Let's go. Yo, thank you for the raid. Kobo, cool How are you doing? So, uh, I don't know how many of us can die, but at least that many died. Two of us are dead. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, boy. Jesus. I'm getting everyone murdered, Cobalt, but we saved the dog. We sa oh, what is that? Monstrosity! Oh, boy. Oh, the head, the Ashley head, the Ashley head just right there. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's Josh? Jump scare? Oh. No, I don't. I don't take orders. He's going crazy. Hey, Josh. Dude, where's his flamethrower when we need it? Yo, that's what I'm saying. The girls have okay. great manicures. Okay. I trust you. Me too. I Can trust I see you? you? Really? I trust you. You trust us? I still don't know what happened to Matt. So yeah, there's that. What's the matter with Mike? He's tripping or something. Josh! M Mike. Josh! <laughs> He's tripping or something. Hey, <laughs> Don't hit me, please, please, please. You were deep in it, man. Full mental jacket. We didn't think we'd get you back. Josh, Hannah was down here for weeks, a month. She dug us up. Sam. My yeah, my hair would not be looking that here. good. You're right about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Josh, do you mm -hmm. have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. Now, whose pocket is it best to keep it See in? See that over there? That means there's a direct way out. Come on. Yeah. yeah. There's no way Josh can make it up there. Okay. If you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Stop! Yeah, good. You what? You back the way we came, and we'll all meet at the lodge. Be careful. Hey, you too. Dude, ew, dirty toes. <sighs> Dude. How does go, you fucked up son of a bitch? Dude, oh my god, we're playing as Josh now? Dear lord. Dear lord, help us all. Josh is gonna go boom boom in the head. You're gonna have to hit me so much, man. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry you... about before, man. I, I thought you killed Jess. Nah, you deserve to be wrong. slapped around. I don't, yeah. Who has the deeper pockets? Well, <laughs> Josh in the financial uh version does. Oh fuck. Wait, we're no. walking right back 
to the, the where to go? Boom, confetti. <laughs> we just walk past like nothing's wrong. I didn't want you to die. No oh, man. Have we went up here? We didn't do this part. Let's see if there's a totem. Let's let let uh Mr. Mike over there do his thing. Yeah, I knew there had to be something up here. Alright. Yeah, he's losing it again. Mike hit him again. I don't know. Somebody slap him back into all oh, little but look at these like uh, little ladybugs or something. The moths. Cute. Oh, that's not cute. It looks like uh, the cabin is a no-go. We should not go back there. That is the danger, danger totem. Danger. Why don't they eat Josh? <laughs> oh my God. I guess we can use them as bait, right? God. We're going back into the water where the scary lady was. I'm pretty sure it's Hannah. What's on the ground right there? Now oh, gone. Mike? Do you still have that shotgun? I hope so. I don't like the way of the sounds. Oh, no! My worst nightmare! Save him! Oh my gosh! Oh, you're not real! No, you're not! <laughs> the poetic justice, though. He's is shivering. Yeah, you know what? Just you know what? She can have him. She can have him. I'm not. I'm not upset. <gasps> He's alive! <laughs> Literally every day, at Ramrod saying my hair has never looked as good as these people's hair. That's how you know they're professionals. <sighs> Man, my anxiety. Man, why are these all danger totems? Surprise birthday totem or good result? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Wait, what? Matt, I wasn't Matt, looking. Matt, please. Wait, she hit us with a shovel? <laughs> oh my god. Are you okay? You hit me with a shovel, fine. bro. Okay. Uh, dude, that's so funny. You know, I didn't. I wasn't. I was looking at chat. She's in her underpants. In oh, the chat. You still alive? Yeah, don't say that. Question: What happened? Or uh, inform? Not alone up here, chat. What do we? What do we do? What do we say? Dude, how are you even alive looking like that? Like, rude. Well, that death had no way to avoid it. <laughs> so rude. Is someone really fucking with us up here? No. What? It's not someone, it's something. Jess, you, you, you had a pretty rough night. Hey, it's pretty confusing. No. Bro. Bro. I'm telling you. It's okay. Bro. I, Shut I, I up, Matt. No, God. Can you move? Yeah. Come on, Jess. Dude, don't don't gaslight a bitch, okay? Please. Matt just has been knocked out for half this time and has no idea what's going on, okay? Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what the shit chat's going on. Look at that. Some sort of cave in here. Yep. Hey. That was Jess. me. I fell through that roof. You fell this far? Jesus. Dude, you fell this far! It's two of us. Yeah, both of us fell, fell down, went boom boom. Fire tower down here. Matt and Jess gotta go. They're enemies of Emily. <laughs> oh no. Uh, which 
which way is the right way? I don't know. I'm trying to find all the collectibles. Can we kill Matt? I mean, apparently he's like the most common to die in uh, in the average playthrough. I read online that like he's, I guess, technically by game stats, the hardest to kill or the hardest to keep alive. I dislike most of the characters. Who's your favorite character, chat? If you had to pick one. And you still got him? I don't know if he can die yet. I haven't, I haven't had him in a while. <laughs> we like saw him like four chapters ago, like the beginning of this stream and then he used a, the, his flare gun preemptively and yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Aw, you're cute caliber. I dislike most of them and you still got him the dead one. <laughs> You you like you liked wait what you like Chris or you liked uh you liked Ashley? I got both of them killed, sorry. They're going to be very bad in a horror situation, true. Yeah, they they're not very good at communication, you're right. The dog, true, the dog is the MVP. Oh my god. Stupid uh AMD is trying to update. There we go. Never just went to bed. <laughs> Yeah, Sam and the dog. Where's the most set? Chris. Emily, then Sam, then Matt, then Chris, then Josh, then Jess, then Ashley, then Mike. Oh, Mike's your least favorite. Oh, that makes sense with Emily, though. I don't remember who any of them are. It's been too long. <laughs> Low key, they all suck at certain points. Like, I really liked, like, Chris and Ashley, but then also they suck sometimes. So I don't know, man. Hi, Winker Poo. Linker poo. Dude, I swear, Linker poo. Link, have you come to jump scare me? Because I swear. I know you. Which way? Okay, hide or run. Hide or run, chat. Are we hiding or are we running? Woo woo. He just yeeted again. Hide? Or, because I don't care enough about it. Uh, Hannah is my favorite. Y'all, Hannah is, is uh, chasing us probably right now. <laughs> Hey, Ryan, she can't keep up in her state? Oh, you think? Oh, true. They can see you if you move. That's true. Okay, hide it is. Come on, Jess. You're right. She'd be really slow. She's not well. She fell down and it's probably really cold. Cha, <laughs> you were right! <laughs> Oh my god, she almost passed out. Jeez. Does this hurt? She probably has a lot of broken bones from the impact. All right. Let's go. We gotta do this. Get out of here. Come on. Go on. Come on, come on. Jess! Abandon, hide or abandon, hide or abandon, hide or abandon. Leaguer poo, hi! Oh my god. <laughs> Chat, hide or abandon. Oh, they are like T Rexes. Dude, she she then drags her sister off a cliff. The, the, the Hannah was shady. Hannah really jumped at that first opportunity when she came with her friend's boyfriend. That's true. She then drags her sister off a cliff. Yep, yep. Dog. Chat. Okay, do we abandon Jess or do we hide with her? <laughs> She's too slow. Hide. Okay. Chat says hide. All right. Oops. I was using my controller. Oops. There we go. Okay. Chat says hide. Okay. Hide. Abandoned just broke girl code. No! Whew. That was not what I, I. Dude, I don't think she could have done that. I don't think she could have, like, smacked. Oh. <laughs> don't do her dirty like that. She's gone through enough crap. 
and Emily causing all the bullshit trying to steal her man again. Dude, Sam is like a, like a fucking god. Let's do it, chat. I've been, I've been training for this. She's been cheating on Matt this whole time. Weez, it seems like that. <sighs> like, if you, like, investigate her car, she's been doing, like, sussy business, right? Isn't that what we found in her car? Was it Jessica's idea? It could have been. Jessica was a bitch. I could see either. Although now, as older, I feel like Jessica seems... I don't know. It's the other side. At the mental... Dude, they're all gonna be trauma bonded. Emily's best friend or not Emily Sam was supposed to be Hannah's best friend but like she went along with it and was in the room and, or well she left and came back and they used her drawing for it so like it was part of her idea oh I thought I had to jump down that cliff I was looking for loot sorry <laughs> oh my god She's gonna wade through a freezing- Dude, if you could parkour up a mountain, you can, uh, go over there in the snow and- and not wade through the ice-cold water. I'm just saying. You dang Luke all I gotta find- look at- look at all the collectibles! I've already missed so many! Probably because I killed people or chose, like, the wrong path, but, like, we didn't even have a certain butterfly effect, like, you know, like, survive until dawn. You know, save yourself and uh, like the, the, I don't know. What? Good night, Zora. <laughs> Josh recognized Hannah and Hannah recognized Josh. Look at our totems. We're missing some, but we did pretty decent, you know? And then the twit, like, look at all of our loot. We're, we're figuring it out. <laughs> but then Sam, Sam legit like, <sighs> said you guys it's kind of mean but also here's my drawing to use and she didn't stop it or warn her best friend hannah from it happening so I, sam's not the goody two-shoe oh my god go 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 you're already in it get going there might have been loot other places i'm not looking i know i know roll in some snow god You probably do have to NG+. Plus. There's actually supposed to be like extra endings. Just a, like a few extra with the new game too. So there's more than 256 alternatives. Not all of them change that much, but... And I think each character has at least two unique ways they can die. Maybe more. I'm just pulling that out of my head though from like what I remember. I can't, was that Matt? Like, was that Mike? I can't even tell. You said, I heard that there's at least two or four mo extra endings with the remaster. <laughs> I have to Google it though. shooting oh. Emily too when she got bit so I don't know they all kind of suck damn girl 
You keep that adrenaline running, girlfriend. Does she get the... Dude, wait, the flame bringer was here. The flamethrower. Can we get the flamethrowers on the ground nearby? No! It was right there! Man. I didn't choose. I didn't choose. I didn't make a choice. Is it locked? Dude, there's no one there! You all fucking left, Sam! No one's in there! You guys left! Sam. Oh my god. You Where's Josh? Now. It's gonna look worse if we stay out here. Come on. I mean, to be fair, they were both already wet from the cave. Oh, great. Let's break a window. Make a lot of noise. Okay. We've broken glass. Oh my god. Lock it again, at least. I could have an But it matters. Way to go. Dude, Not this good. whole time they had never used the lights. But what they're on! We should, we should check the basement. There might be someone left down there. Yeah, for who? Who's here anymore? Like, we left with Ashley and uh, Emily. And then we ditched Emily at some point. Ashley got killed. Chris was dead and never came back. We never rendezvoused with Matt. <laughs> How do you rate our chances of survival? Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. Dude, just wait till dawn. <laughs> Well, that's not. Oh, lock door! Lock door! Lock door! Lock door! Lock door! Oh my God! Why? Why didn't it? Oh my God! Okay. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. Oh my God! Oh my God! Don't move. Everybody hold still. Don't fucking move a muscle. How did they all get in here? Oh, they see each other. I don't know how there's so many. I, I mean, we killed three of them. Like, how did so many get here? Oh, they're, are they gonna fight each other? Oh, shit! Oh my God, they're fighting each other! Oh, they got free when they, oh shit. Oh, do we have a lighter? Turn the lights on. Break a light and turn it on. They do look like they move like squirrels. She She's like, yeah, blow it up. Did it kill one? Oh my gosh, there they go. Don't move. Go, Mike. Keep going. Mike. You better get it. Bless. He's gonna crush it with his hand. Fuck. Dude, they're all gonna fucking blow up. One. Throw something! 
run to the switch, save Mike. I'm gonna save Mike, chat. Hey! Run or hide, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like they still need a, I feel like they still, I feel like, I don't know. I think we should, you guys agree? I think we should still hide, they haven't fought yet. They haven't fought yet. Oh my God. Plus we have to give time for him to get out. Hopefully it doesn't fucking blow us up. The other one's gonna move and distract it. Oh my god. Is that it? Something is disconnecting on my PC. Woo! There's one? I think we killed five Wendigos so far. Maybe six? What about, what about, what about the other two? Yeah, there's at least seven Wendigos because there was one after Matt and Jess, and then there was still one that grabbed Josh. <gasps> Is that it? Oh. And there was how Josh died, <laughs> or Chris. That was how Ashley got kicked the bucket. He held it right up to my face. Right here, right in front of my nose, and he could have shot me. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, you go out with a guy for however long, and you think you know him. Oh, yeah, I forgot they dated! And he was gonna shoot her. I was right there, and I could have done something. I tried to do something. It wasn't good enough. How did you end up in the mines? I love her. I was carried and taken and... What did you see? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He was out of his fucking mind. He wanted to hurt us. Okay? And... I wonder if they recovered him. Attack Jess. I thought we were close. After his sisters disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought. I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to, I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience, I said I'm fine. <laughs> you bringing in Meat Brain next? Gonna kick him around a bit for me? I'm sorry? Meat Brain, Mr. Muscle Brawn, Matt the Incredible Sulk. Is there something we need to know? 
Oh, no, nothing important except, um, you know, how he basically left me to die <laughs> up on a freaking tumbling tower like a world-class douche nozzle. <laughs> douche nozzle! Hey. What do you remember? He came for me. He did. Came for you? Where is he? Did he make it? You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? Just go down there. I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. Dude, she's like, she's like, you're gonna, you're gonna not believe me. What about Josh? We, there's no confirmation that he died. So, what are we gonna, what are we gonna do? The music is so good. Is it one of those things where we can like zoom? Oh, 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 oh! that ending that's crazy oh shit well one kind of survived <laughs> i literally thought that was my dog <laughs> i don't remember any of this she's on a lot of pills I swear, if they announce a Until Dawn 2, I'm gonna shit myself. Teasing a sequel? What? Okay, we have to do some Googling. <laughs> what? So like if we had if we had screwed up, we could so now you can go back to at least the chapters, which is kind of nice. But Chris died before making it back to the lodge. We we need that. Jesus. Dude, I found so many totems. Like, I'm actually impressed with myself. Like, look, what, what, how many did we miss? One, two, three, four, five, six. We got that much. None of the later stuff for the mystery man. It could be because we killed, like, Chris and Ashley, though. And a lot of stuff for the twins. Bundle of papers Hannah used as a journal. Found in the miner watch. When to go in the mine had an identical tattoo. Hannah's tattoo. Beth was who uh, was killed in the fall. And, and this is updated. The Wendigo that attacked Josh had the tattoo. Yeah, the, uh, the tattoo. They really went ham on the butterfly tattoo. That is so crazy bonus content i didn't get the bonus content score instruments meet the cast 
I've seen a lot of these, the old ones, which is cool. Um, okay, let's let's do. I want to. I want to look. Like I'm so hyped. Yo, it was perfect timing too on how we did this. So okay, wait. Ending of Until Dawn remake. Hi, Linker Poo explained. Let's see. Okay, okay, what is the uh, theory about that ending? Do the spoiler? <laughs> Sam, the new Sam ending. I think a lot of people have talked about theorizing about what it means going back and forth on some kind of PTSD or being haunted in some way. I think Sam is possessed with the window ghost spirit, if not the Makapatu itself. We learn about a stranger's journal. The spirit possesses a person before it results in cannibalism, which he had eaten nothing for many days. The Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak. Thought is that Sam left the mountain. She was already possessed. We really don't know all the rules of the Wendigo. Born from the ice. And we did kill a lot of the Wendigo. Keep in mind, seeing her several years later, she lived like this for so long. This is where her arm comes into play now. I can't tell if it's a cut or some kind of burn. The shape may be some kind of trapping or warding symbol. Well, she, like, woke up with it. Like, she didn't know what it was. Like, it was bleeding. I was like, did she hurt herself in her sleep? No clue, but the new Josh ending and Sam cutscene is very clear sequel bait, which I'm totally fine with. That's what, okay, there's a Josh ending. Until Dawn remake new ending content. <laughs> Let's you save Josh, because I think he always dies or becomes a Wendigo, right? Does There's a way to save him? Okay, spoilers, warning, because I, I think it would be worth... Let's see. Anyone else? And I'm fine. You need to run on your own. Also, shout out to um, who are we watching? Rub Hen nine two five is who we're seeing um, this from. Oh shit, this is new. Oh my god. Isolation. It looks crazy. Well, I hope for your sake, Joshua, that you can find redemption. We need to talk about Josh. And then this is. So if we would have saved everyone, that would have been the option. Okay, so that's all we missed. So I don't feel bad for showing that. Sorry, something keeps disconnecting. Finally, Josh survives. See, that's what it is. So guessing they're making a sequel based on that epilogue. See, that's what I'm wondering, right? Oh my god, you would think, right? If we save Josh, would a lit everyone would have lived? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you save him if everybody wins or lives or whatever, but uh I don't want to spoil too much if we play again, but I that really does make me think that we could have that they might be planning because I know that originally um, I might be wrong. I'm pulling this out of my 
long-term brain, I think the T on it, because I remember when the uh, the whole entire, like, uh, apologies or whatever started happening, um, I was like, why don't they make it Until Dawn 2? Why are they doing this? I remember something like they don't own the riots to Until Dawn. That was part of it, the team, and that the team had split up, hence why I'm pretty sure that there's a different team doing the... God damn it, hold on. The anthologies versus the, um... Yeah, so, like, the Dark Pictures anthologies, I don't remember, but I want to say that they were produced by a different group than the Quarry. Am I correct? Actually, let's see. We can check that. Because the Quarry was 100% more, um like until dawn if i'm recalling correctly hence why like uh the quarry and i believe it was the devil and me came out very close to each other okay super massive games and 2k games and then dark pictures anthology was made by okay super massive games but bandai Pro so maybe not I'm not sure. Oh, ain't no way. They made the casting of Frank Stone as well. This one, it's, I didn't realize that. That's, oh, then we have to play it. Anyway, it is the same dev. So, uh, I, I remember there was like some weird whatever thing with like the, like something with the, I would have to go Googling and deep diving, but I'm pretty sure there was something with the developers and the owning of the name and there was like reasons why the studio didn't make an until dawn 2 because it was critically acclaimed at the time it was huge it was a very large budget as well i don't know exactly what it is but oh when, when i heard they were releasing it for pc poor i was like ain't no way ain't no way so the fact that it was like i feel like it was well done it seems like they really were i don't know pushing hard to like I don't know, make the game great um, and updating it, even though there were some bugs and stuff, like, which is really cool to see it come to more audiences again and be remastered and, and, and everything. I think it was really fun and really great. Uh, the fact that there is some more little things in the game, I'm not entirely sure how much there is, but I do think there's been some slight changes. I'd have to Google it. Let's see. Um, Until Dawn versus on... <laughs> until done remake let's see um how different is the remake ultimately the remake doesn't offer much beyond graphical upgrade where the new visuals are impressive the shift in camera perspectives and gameplay tweaks don't necessarily improve the core experience so there's yeah is there a two there's no official statement alongside sony's push to remake the ip into a broader franchise suggests that it's possible it, it possibility isn't unlike i would literally be so excited so anyway, it's really great. You guys should definitely play it, whether you play the original or the new one. It's fabulous. I love it. I think the experience um, on the on PS4 uh, was great as well. So you should definitely check it out. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be back with, um, what's my plans? What's my plans? I, I <laughs> Let's just go to my channel really quick. Um, I, I actually made a schedule for once, chat, or I guess I could just show you the image of the schedule. Hold on. I made a schedule for once. I was a good bean. So we finished until dawn, uh, tomorrow we're going to be marathoning, um, all of the Fears of Fathom game, which is like roughly about a whole stream length. I think they kind of vary. We'll see how long it takes us to get through them. Um, but, uh, I'll be marathoning those. That was one of the redeems from the subathon. Um, on Saturday, we're going to be doing pumpkin carving and playing pumpkin jack, which I think those two will be really cute. Um, I posted it here, but I guess I'll, I'll add everyone tomorrow. So this is the game and everybody is like more than welcome to like join in. It's called ghost town pumpkin festival. I'll just link it right now. You can pay what you want. So you can actually put pay, uh, you can play for free and everything um and it's like an online little thing and you get to carve pumpkins and stuff and i thought that would be really cute to do with the community and we could all like post pictures of our pumpkins and um 
And then also, uh, we're going to be playing on... So there we go. On Sunday, mouthwashing and then bloodstained, which is the Metrovania style, like Castlevania game. Um, the monkey bought me. And then I'm taking Monday off. That's when I am doing PT. And um, I have it on Wednesday too. But um, And then Tuesday, we're going to be playing the Outbound Ghost. We won't finish that because it's a fairly long game. But uh, we'll be playing that on the 30th, which is Wednesday. We're going to be playing A Quiet Place, which is uh, is mic sensitive. So uh, the jump scares and my dogs barking and all those things will definitely be something that uh, gets... To me, and then uh, more on the thirty first. Uh, so Halloween of the Quiet Place. Maybe we'll do more pumpkin carving too. I don't know. And then there's also a game that I call. Uh, I I found called While We Wait Here, and it's like a spooky. I'll show you guys actually. It's like a spooky. Uh, choices matter. Um, little diner game it kind of is like supposed to look like old school or whatever but i think it looks really fun um and you're kind of just like chilling in a diner and like serving people and like i said choices matter it looks interesting it's fairly short so um we'll be giving that a little checkeroony it looks kind of fun um so yeah so yeah 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 is the marathon during yes they're all during my normal stream time so uh they'll all be at 6 p.m pacific which is 7 p.m mountain standard time 8 p.m central or 9 p.m eastern so yeah 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 <laughs> yeah 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 all right let's find somebody to raid really quickly okay you guys for hanging out but yeah do you know about the naraka test server tomorrow what even what there's a there's a naraka test server tomorrow see i i don't even know i don't get any updates anymore i don't look in the naraka discord and then the the partner discord do, is just people arguing literally all day and like bitching about stuff so and being mean to each other so I literally just check it like once a week or so or every couple weeks because I'm like, okay. What are you guys bitching about now? <laughs> to like look and see. Although I need to make some more content because I haven't done my four videos for the month. But I don't even know if there's going to be enough updates this month for that. So I didn't even know what it's going to be. Let me know if you do. <laughs> um, who should I raid? Ah, uh, Ninja Gato is playing Resident Evil. That's that feels like a good follow up to what we were playing. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Um. Yeah. 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 There we go. Um. Okay. I just click the developer. Da -da 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 -da. But yeah, I don't know. And speaking of schedule, I know we need to play Choo Choo Charlie. Is like I promise. And good night, Caliber. Thank you for all the love. Thank you. Good night, Namori. Ooh, that they have that open beta you were talking about. It's already on the 31st. That's huge. New character becomes... Oh, really? I might have to check it out. I might do that off stream, though. We'll see. Um, hi, Psycho Titan. Sorry, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to bed, but thank you so much for coming in. All right. If you guys would take a moment to uh, go and check out all the wonderful, lovely people who raided us today. They're all super wonderful and always coming in with all the love. Um, please go check out uh, Flora Violet, who always comes in with wonderful oh shoot mm -mm. reads and is always supportive muddy as well who is always freaking supportive and amazing and and all that beans um and then uh boo -boo -boo -boo, uh muddy and merchandise and cobble all the cutie patooties coming in with raid if you take a moment to go say hi and as well before you end your night if you take a moment to go say hi to ninja gato who is who we're raiding i would super appreciate it thank you so much for hanging out i'll be back tomorrow for um fears to found the marathon if you want to see all of them play through we're gonna hit them all up all in one day <laughs> Thank you all so much for hanging out, and I, I super appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys for some more spooks tomorrow.